Welcome to the live stream, guys. This is Hybrid Still. Thank you very much for joining me in today's live stream. We're basically just gonna. Well, I need to do this trading up challenge, and it was uh, brought to me in one of my comments that uh, came up, and it was like, "Hey, you you should do a challenge where you're doing like a you know a trading up thing, like Mike Brewer from you know all the, all the car programs and stuff that's on Discovery and business. And they all do trading up challenges. They all like, we're gonna buy this car, we're gonna trade up, we're gonna do that. That's what we're gonna do today. So we're starting off, and the ru the rules. I say rules. Basically, the rules go as you have to start on four thousand um, dollars. You can have un everything unlocked in the garage, but you have to have just four grand, all right? and that's how you got to start. And then you have to buy a saloon car at the end of your transition. You have to be able to afford a saloon car worth a hundred thousand dollars. That's it. That's that's the whole trading up scenario. That's what we got to do. Hayden Dunk, boom! Thank you very much for kicking by, dude. You've come up so fast. Hey, there it is. You've come up so fast, it actually didn't turn, come up in my chats before it came up on the screen. So yeah, that's the challenge. That's the challenge to trade up from basically four thousand to just absolutely. We're gonna get there. That's what we're gonna do. So if you can convert, is the music at a good level? Is the music okay for you guys? Can you hear it? Because I listened back to one of the live streams. It was fairly low, so I don't know if you guys are actually hearing this or not. But yeah, so let's get this started. I got four grand. Oh no, I started on the wrong save. Ah oh, man, give me a second. I got to actually stop this save and go into my other one. Ah, oh, see there you go. Already stuffed up. See this is my this is my good one. Right, return to menu. Accept. Load up the right save first, and then we'll get and then we'll carry on with this challenge. So play, flip it. Flip it is the one that we're trying. So as we got, we got. I'm level thirty one, and we've only got four grand. That's literally it. And that's how we got to do this. And the way I had to do this was I had to edit my save file to actually give me... I had to open up everything, and then I had to give myself four grand, basically. So there you go. Look, I've got everything unlocked. Everything in the garage is unlocked. And that's it. That's it. Everything. So we start with four grand. And the only way we can make money is we have to go to the car auction and buy the cheapest crappy cars and put batteries in them and fix them and, and interior wash them. And that's it. So we can do. So we have to buy crap cars. So we got. Let me just take my watch off because it's going to get sweaty. <laughs> Yuck! Right. Um, we need to buy. We need to buy a crappy car. Um, we got two. We might be able to capitalize on this. I'm playing car mechanics. Awesome, nice one, dude. Okay, so we got to buy. We got to buy these cars for less than four grand. This one goes for nine, so we ain't got a chance. If I run it on money, I can't. Zoltan, well, there you go, I'm out. Can't afford it. This is going to be really difficult to start with. <clears throat> nice. Oh, sheesh. One million. That, that's not bad, though. One million club. Yeah, I, I was almost there in my story. There we go, out of money. Oh, it's going to be a pain. It really is. I'm just trying to think of like crappy cars that we might be able to afford that might that won't go for like ten grand. Oh, uh, this one might the the Impala, the Impala might stay. Five grand, we might get this. No, oh, I've been outbid. There we go. So yeah, it's just just trying to get hold of a car for this much money is just ridiculous. So. Get ready um, for the game let's go with the Super B and see what happens. The zone is groundbreaking sports streaming, bringing you live fight nights. Nah, we're not going to get that. So we got to come out. we got to do this like, as quickly as possible. That's the worst part. UK boxing live Rick Sanchez, what's up, dude? Thank you very much for kicking him. So yeah, we're, basically we've got to keep going back and forth to auctions until we can afford a car. And then we've got to start device. trading up. Your boxing this, is, this is how it has to be. Um... Changed. Click or tap I can't remember seeing a car for less than four grand in the in the in the. Press play to win with Oreo. Yeah. Press play to get. This is gonna be the hardest Press part, trying to get the first the initial car. Flow. Scan any Oreo pack for your chance to win hundreds of music prizes. It's gonna be hard, man. It's gonna be hard. Grand for a Volvo, maybe, maybe. 
In a world ruled by speed, Probably not. where destinies are decided by downloads, a hero has arrived. Hello. Five, two, six, no one. Sky broadband, ultra Probably fast. not. It's ten times faster than I'm doing all right. Oh, we, yeah, okay, we online. might get this. Feel epic. The next generation of broadband is here. No sky come on, come on, give me a car. Fast. Oh, come on. Available percent of UK homes and oh, come on, no, don't so outbid me. Of ultra fast plus versus standard yeah, we got a car. We got a car. Sky. Right. <laughs> I've never been so excited to get a crap car in my life. <laughs> oh, that's just awful. Right. What's the, is the Zoria? I don't, I don't think that's. Wow, we might actually be able to do this as well. Okay, we won a DeLorean as well. Right, back to the garage. We got 37 quid. Get in. So. With £37, we can't charge the battery unless it's already got one. So we can do the interior, and that's it on one car. And then we'll get rid of it, and we'll, we'll, we'll try and sell it. <laughs> we might actually lose money doing this. <laughs> this is going to be so... It's, it's going to be sketchy, because this thing's got bugger all left in it. Unless, what we could do is we could take whatever's left on this car apart, earn some money, do that one up properly. That's tempting. So we'll jack that on number one. We need to go back outside and get the other one. This was in this one. Oh, nice. And there's the battery. It's all good. Right. Move this car to number two. So much is this worth? Straight up. Can we trade this up? And it's worth minus 376 quid. And this is worth minus 220. So I reckon we could strip whatever's left out of this. Do this one up. It'll be good. Where's the battery? Battery, battery. That oh, went up to level 35 whilst doing this. Awesome. So putting the battery in should give us a decent value, maybe. Minus 145. Cool. I shouldn't have bought this car. So we're just going to flog this off, take the loss, sell the car. But we we need the money to do the welding. So we need this over at number two. And then we need this at number two as well. So we'll do a clean. So we're doing a clean on this, and then we need to weld it. Oh, no, we don't need to move it. We just need to weld. Weld, 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 weld. Right, put this back. And then this car's worth money, straight up. Should be, at least. There we go, just made four grand. Boom! Get him. Sell the car. Ah, oh, yes. Right, so we've gone from four grand to 7,500 in eight minutes. Awesome. Next, we need, to, you know, we need to do this a couple of times, by the way. So if I can get another couple of cheap cars, we can do exactly the same process and we can actually buy a car and actually do it up. If we get about 15 grand, we can almost do a full recharge, which would be all right. I like the look of the Honda Civic. Hopefully this is a scrap heap and we can just get rid of it. All right, it's eight grand. Where's the vat? Um, the Pinto might, oh, yeah, the Pinto. We'll take the Pinto. Take the Pinto. Jesus, that's a big engine. All right, cool. Seven grand out in the Pinto. Mm. I've only got seven and a half. <laughs> okay, uh, what about the van? No, it's dodgy. Nine grand for the van. Jesus, what is up with all these cars? They're all really expensive. Two, there we go. There we go, there's another car. <clears throat> Take that to the garage. Next, 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 next. Let's see what the fair lady can do. How much is the fair lady? Please be enough. 17,000, we're definitely not getting that yet. Ah, uh, what about the Ford? Come on, Sierra. I still ain't done one of these up. Two grand, we should get, yeah, we'll be all right with this.
Don't do this to me, computer. Thank you very much. Right, take that to the garage. Hogtail out. Do these cars up. Let's go. Don't forget, if you're enjoying this, hit that like button. All good. <coughs> Alright, so we just bought two more cars. So we went from four grand to buying two cars to move, like messing around with one. And then we need to get these two charged up, washed, and then we can go from there. So move this car to number two. That's all good. Right, next. So let's have a look in the hood. And there is absolutely no engine. So we're going to need to buy a battery for this. So uh, we need to go to the electrics and buy a battery. Literally putting the battery in. It's all good. And there's no engine in here as well. Fantastic. So we need to buy another battery. <laughs> awesome. All right. That's why these cars were so expensive, by the way. So already that car is worth... $297. It's actually worth more than the battery was worth. So, so this is why I always do this. Like, so there we go. Minus 451. Click on here. Add battery. There you go. Take that out. Have a look at the price. Minus 170 now. Move to number one. Move to number two. That can be doing that. I can only do one thing at a time. You've got to be joking. Good, then we can sell both these chassis off to whoever wants to buy them and we can buy something else. So this is now worth Once a park up six and half grand. So we can sell this. And it's all good. Sell, boom, done. Step one, place an order on the mine. Okay, now we've got ten grand. Step two, park in a click and serve numbered bay, enter the number in the app, and we'll bring your meal right over. So you can enjoy your sausage and egg McMuffin with a What are you trying to do? Treatment. Basically you trade up from four thousand up to a saloon car set. worth over a hundred grand in one live stream. Click and that's serve literally that's the whole challenge. That's that's all it is. It's actually it's not that difficult. It's just actually doing it is, is really worth it. There you go, there's another four grand. Boom! Now we're up to Seventeen thousand. So within twelve minutes, I've earned thirteen grand. Not too shabby, right? So now we need—we've got seventeen thousand. We need to do that at least one more time, and then we've got enough money to actually take a project car, splash in a load of parts, which will take about an hour, and then we have to do upper car. So that's just the way this game has to go. So we need a couple more crappy salvage cars, basically. All right, we'll take the Impala. Hopefully, this won't be too expensive. Oh, okay, it's fourteen thousand. I was hoping for something a little bit cheaper. What about the Mustang? Just don't have anything in it. You'll be fine. Oh, Jesus Christ! Right, we need cheap cars. Volkswagen. Come on, Golf. You've barely got an engine. Let's have you. Don't do this to me, AI. Come on. Let me have the car. Decent price. I hate the AI. It's a great big giant knobber. Give me the goddamn car. Yeah, that's the joys of not having premium. Sorry, buddy. an ad every like 10 minutes all good all right receive the car go to the garage so we've got three grand left to finish these off so we should we'll do this
Hold on. Bum, bum. Let me just bring my... I think I may have disconnected my mic at one point. Give me a second. Uh, advanced properties. Oh, that'll be a reason why. Give me a... Let's put a, let's put a little bit of boost on the mic, shall we? There we go. So now you should be able to hear me slightly better. Move the car to number one. Move cards number two. Right. Have you got a battery in you? No. Have you got a battery? Yes. We'll take the battery. Right. Charge this one up. Buy another one. Because we need to buy another one. And then, the next one we're going to do is... We should, we'll have enough money to buy a nice car, and then we can up from there. Um, part me up. All good to go. James Moore, boom! Thank you very much for the compliments, matey. That means a that that yeah, having the nice things you guys are saying, it, it means a lot. Thank you very much. That battery goes up there. Good, cool. Next, we need to do this, and we need to move the. Oh no, we need to use the equipment. Use, yes. Yeah, it's because my I, I disconnected my mic a couple of days ago whilst I was I was moving the arm around and stuff and I disconnected it and then when you reconnect it you have to yeah you just get the, yeah you know you get yeah you get the idea right. so that's going to car lift two this one this one is now worth six grand fantastic there we go so we just made about fifteen grand now use equipment. I'm doing good, Shadow. Thank you very much for asking. Much appreciate. Can you buy a super saloon from the junkyard or barn find? No, because a saloon car you can only buy from the saloon car. It's a perfect vehicle. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, that's what we mean by a saloon car. So, the idea is to go from four grand to um, a, a brand spanking new car out of the showroom, which is the saloon. And then it's all good. You have to work up to it. But that's the thing, if you buy an auction car, it's still going to have things wrong with it, so you have to find it all. You need the money to do that, which is why I'm doing this. And people are just like, well, if you start with four, you're not really going to make a lot of money. It's like, well, no, you don't have to make a lot of money, you just have to make enough money. just to keep it. So there you go, we've got 27 grand, and we're 17 minutes into the video. Boom! So there you go, look. Car saloon. We're aiming for one of these. We're aiming for a $100,000 car. So, yeah. You're out of money, what do you do? Um, you do crap missions. I've I've answered this. I've done a couple of I've done a couple of videos on what to do when you've got no money. Oh, that's a nice big car. See what I mean, right? This car is 270 grand. What about a barn? I found more gems in there. Yeah, I mean doing gems are good. Yeah. That's really laggy for you guys, I'm really sorry. So yeah, there you go, 128,000 um, if we take this one. It's 123 grand. So we need 130 grand really to buy a car in here. <coughs> I'm not sure why it's so laggy. It's just, it's just my, my computer should be running this happily. It's just, I think it's the same for everybody. But when streaming, it always seems to take a massive cut of like the whatever you're going through. And that's everything. Going for a barn. I haven't got any barns. Um, we could go to the junkyard. We could buy a car for now. We could do it up. That's easy. Um, the idea now, I've got 27 grand, which means I can buy a decent car or, a, you know, a 15 grand car. And then we have to do it up for now. The problem with having these cars here is you're like, yeah, I'm going to buy one of these. And then you're, the price that you have to buy one of these cars at, let's say I've got, I'll spend 11 grand on this van. It'll probably go for like 14 then I have to buy all the bits for it, and that's another like fifteen grand. That's thirty thousand. I don't have thirty thousand. Have you done a video on tires? I don't understand the size and stuff to get them right. So basically, the idea there is, is add add the tire to your shopping list, and then when you go to buy one, um, you 
eight, eight itself. So the last number, which is like a, nine, a 17, 18, 19, 20 or whatever, that will be like the size. That's your first one. The 247 is the uh, width of the tire. Uh, so that'll be a three digit number. That's the width. And then the bottom number at the left is the actual profile. The profile is from the rim to the edge of the tire. Right. Hope that helps. The if this is order, then you have to do the and tire. The yeah, so it's always it's always best to cur act, just copy the tire that's already out, that you pull off the car. Visit us at a McDonald's are open late and yeah, here for you. basically. So I think we need to take like a, a decent set. Oh, bloody hell, we do not have that. That's a salvage car at nine hundred and forty thousand. It's nice they put the McLaren in this game, but Jesus Christ, that's expensive. Right, I think if we're going to look at a pay date, we need something like this. But then that's going to go for a, that's going to go for a ton. These are seventy thousand. If we do them up properly, it's all good. Yeah, I think this is tempting me because I love these cars, and it's like a seventy grand car when it's finished. And I know this because I've got a few of them. See, this is thirteen thousand, right? This, this, the, the, this auction will go up to thirteen grand, and it'll go above thirteen grand. Then I've got to make money again to restore this car because it's in such poor quality. I've got to take all this engine apart and then rebuild it and then remake it. There's going to be a lot of parts. They're going to, so that's why you need like a lot of money to move yourself up to a saloon car to start with. But I mean, this is a good shell. I mean, we've got one wheel, no interior. But it's because of what it is. It's the V8 DHX8. It's, this is a modded, like, stream, uh, stream, uh, bleh, 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 steam car, basically. At 13 grand, it's it's steep. And the Supra is a little bit nicer. At 16, it's not. <coughs> oh, come on. Can we do a Volvo? Three grand? Yeah, we can do this. So this will be a three grand car. We're probably looking at about... 15 in parts maybe see if we can do it a bit cheaper and we'll go for now <laughs> at least it has one wheel I agree It's a bit more desperate when they start begging for more money. Right, this will be the one. This is right. So we're going to take this back to the garage. We're going to we're going to get this all the way to the top. So this will take. This is going to be. So we need to scrub it, straighten it, take everything apart, take it all apart, basically. No, 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 no. Right. So don't put a code in if you're trying to do a challenge, because that's a bit stupid, isn't it? It's like I'm going to do a challenge. Cool. I'm going to use a code. Cool, I've already done the challenge. Whoa, now I can stop. That's called cool. cheating, mate. And you, there's no point in doing it. And the reason why there's no point in doing it is that you're spoiling the game for yourself. Hey, I just give myself loads of money. Just play bloody sandbox mode if you're just going to do that. There is no point in doing that shit. Really is not. I just don't see the point. The only reason why I used a code in 2018 was because I was a year and a half late to the game. And, well, by that time, no one gave a crap. That's the problem. This looks like it's a complete car as well, apart from the drive shaft in there. But yeah, if you're going to put a code in, gee, that's, that's just like, you might as well just play on sandbox mode at that point. You know? That's that's just... That's just stupid. Yeah, I know, I'm going to play this brand new game. I've just spent money on it. Cool, what did you do? Well, I put this code in, right? And it just means I can do everything. Cool, so why did you buy the game? Well, you know, because everyone else is buying it. Yeah, I know, but why did you buy it if you can just put a code in and do everything for you? Well, because I wanted to. Just play sandbox mode then. I mean, that's that's literally what you have to do. You want infinite money? Go play sandbox. You want infinite scraps? Go play sandbox. <laughs> Until then, there's no point. And I used to do exactly the same thing, like I said. I was a year and a half late to this game. I did it all on console. And we're good. And then I moved over to PC. And I was like, oh man, heaven's already unlocked. Ah, oh, dude. And now I'll play the game through again. Nah, screw it. I ain't playing the I'll play I'll use the cheat code. Because that was the other thing. I finished the whole game on console first. Then I bought the PC version. 
because I had a better, I had a better PC than the console was. So I played the game through like twice, three times maybe. Doing all the story modes again, again. I understand if people want to play, if, if people play on sandbox mode, it's normally because, like, one, they just want to kick back and enjoy the game. I get that. At the end of the day, though, I mean, if you're going to play this game and you've got the time to put into it, play the story missions. Play the game as it, is, as it was intended. And that's CMS profile code that used to work on Car Mechanic to, uh, 2020, well, 2018. You just typed in CMS 2021. Or 2018, sorry. Again, oh my god. Brain is fried! So yeah, with this one, because it's going to cost us... I reckon it's going to cost about 20 to put this car right. So we're, we're not going to have a lot of money left. But this car will be worth it by the time we finished. Should be, at least. I hope so, because yeah, I've spent enough money on it. Take the drive shaft off because that's not mount the you can tell when this is a rest when this is a modded car when the drive shaft doesn't fit properly. That's not bad though. What within twenty six minutes we've made enough money to buy a car that we're gonna basically now strip down, completely redo sell it off for a lot more money and then we can probably do one more. I reckon it, it won't take long, it'll just take like the amount of time it takes to dip, get two cars going. Worst part is I can't lay these brakes because they're that bad. So it's a new set of brake pads, new set of everything. Like Everything on this car is rusted to boot. Everything orange we can repair but everything red is just, it's gone. It's gone with the wind. Rule of it as well, buy 20 rubber bushings on every car you're about, if you're going to strip a full car down, 20 rubber bushings and 10 small rubber bushings. And then whatever's left, just sell back, you'll be alright. It's my rule at least, you don't have to follow me, I just try and give the best advice as I can. Caliper comes off. And the other reason why you want to do like an easy car like this is because number one, all the parts are on this car. Like so far, I've only I'm only missing like one or two rubber bushings. The rest of it is all here. And then if you have to buy a parts list, all the parts are already in front of you. You don't have to guess. You don't have to go. Oh damn, I missed that one bit. There you go. We're actually missing um, the D links off the back. Get that off, get this off, get this off. Right, engine. I don't really it's gonna go, oh you need you need to remove the oil. So we wouldn't have to do that. It actually had oil in it. Get him. <coughs> now because I don't really, at the moment, I'm not really giving a damn about the environment, so we're just gonna take all these apart. It doesn't really matter. Even though they got nothing in them, you'll still get charged for it. See? Nothing. I wanna be the very best. Like no one ever was. Dun, dun, dun. To catch them is my real test. Chain them in the go. It's just a shame there isn't an auto strip down button. It just does it all for you. This challenge would be so much easier to do then. So yeah, we're looking at about 140, 150 grand at the end of uh, this and maybe another car. That's how much we roughly need to basically buy a car from the saloon. At the cheapest. I mean, if we want more, then you have to go for longer. The idea is just to be able to afford one. I know they do like 80 grand cars, but I mean, I think the idea of getting to 100,000 is actually a good idea. Because then it's sort of like, yeah, actually we made a we got to a decent level, you know. 
I make bad internet, but have wanted to pop on. For hey, it's all good. Cheers, man. Thank you very much for even just kicking by. It's most appreciated. Cheers, Banham. And thank you very much for all the support over the time, man. It's it's awesome. Don't forget, guys, if you are liking this stream or anything I've done on this channel, don't forget to hit that like button. I just made 2,800 by just washing the car. Right, so you can't... Are you talking about interior washing? Because you don't make money washing the car. I covered that in a video. But yeah, if, if you're just interior washing, it'll, it'll because you're actively changing the condition of the car, that's what I'm getting at. Do you know when there will be new DLC? Um, whenever it comes out. Um, Red Dot, I'm going to be honest, they release about 10 loads of DLC for their games, and that's literally it. So, yeah, that's... It, yeah. It normally it, they, they normally do like two or three a year, basically. So I would expect another load to come out maybe in December, and then nothing else until maybe like I don't know May next year. Ah, uh, cheers, man! Boom! Thank you very much for the super chat. That's that's awesome. I hope that came up. Yeah, it did. There you go. Thank you very much, matey. By the way, just for pure transparency, and I want to—I want to declare this: like the money that you guys have, like, because you've been watching my videos like solidly for like most of August now, I've actually got enough money to put car, like, to put, we've got carpet down on the kids' floor, but it's an old shitty one. So I'm actually going to buy an actual brand new carpet for their room and get them new beds. And um, Kerry's going to be taking care of their mattresses now. So we actually, we're actually getting them like proper stuff now. That's, the, that's what all the money's going towards. Like, the money that I've earned from this month, that's it. That's where it all goes. I might be able to get a Chinese out of it, but that's about it. But yeah, two brand new beds, brand new carpet, and uh, that should set them up well for about 10 years. Unless they break them and then I'm going to have to buy another one. But I don't, I don't see that happening. I mean, they jump on their beds, yes, but they're, they're not, they don't really break things like that, at least. I did like one of, one of the comments I got for, um, I, 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 it was the thing I did for this. I said, uh, you know, I'm, oh, I'm going to be doing this tonight as long as the kids are, like, they stay in bed. And one comment was like, you got kids? It's like, uh, yeah. I'm stupid and old enough to have them. It's all good. <laughs> oh, I ain't doing these. Come on. Go do this faster, man. Faster. Thirty-two minutes in, man. Thirty-two minutes. This is going to be expensive because it's getting all these parts back, but we, I won't be able to repair most of them. They're all just going to be like it's going to be like nine, nine, ten pages of parts plus the body panels. We might be able to rescue some of the body panels though because they're not in that bad a condition. But I know painting, painting the car doesn't really do much, but like getting all the panels knocked up and making them look nice does. You know, so we'll, we'll do all the basics to make the value go up on the car happily. Battery is definitely the first thing. We'll get the panels all straight. We'll get the, uh, we'll get the, basically the frame straight as well. Yeah, it's all about the kids, man. I, I, I got to be honest. When it comes to money from YouTube, like not a lot of it goes to me. It all goes to what we need in the house. Let's say, they, or it might just be like where we have like a bad week, uh, a bad month, and. I need to dip into my money to like subsidize bits that we can't afford straight. That's where my money goes. I mean, if I if I could make YouTube my full time income, then I think the we would need we would need about two grand a month just to get by because of all the expenses that go through for buying like all the kids stuff, like food, drinks, uh, rent, all that shit, basically. I, I, I almost set up a, an actual donation goal, almost today, and the reason why is because I, I want a car, but I want a very specific car, and I've only found one of them on eBay. <laughs> and uh, it's like the next step in like my, like turning into an American driver. Basically, I want, it, in all honesty, I want a Chevy Bel Air, but I know it, I'd need one, that's years down the line, but 
I looked on eBay for American cars, like how much they cost and so on and so forth. Is there a way to get a lot of scrap? Um, a very time consuming way, yes. Basically, you have to go to the junkyard and buy all of the scrap, buy all the scrap here, and then bring it back and then do it all again. Or know how to change the code in your safe. I recommend I recommend number two the most, but if, if you can't do the coding thing, then it's just a lot of time. Um, a lot of the cars I've done on this channel are literally from doing it by hand. And I'm not even going to joke that we, we, it's nightmarish. Um, I would say to pace yourself. How so can you would do make your morning easier versus your old laptop. How about when you're rushing because your housemate took forever in the shower? Sorry. Give me a sec. Video call with the boss looming and minutes to make it on time. Blouse on top, PJs on the bottom. Chromebook fired up and it's... Hi, how's everything going? <laughs> With Chromebook, you have a laptop that switched on in five... Bloody minutes, adverts, seriously. Seconds. Switch your laptop to a Chromebook today. Available at Paris City Wells, John North and Arbor. See top speed mobile app on your device. Hey, back into the music. Here we go. So, yeah, that's, um, that's the joys. It, the problem with doing the scrap stuff is... If you've seen what, like a couple of my videos where I've actually mentioned the scrap stuff, it's there's a lot of it's a lot of effort for I would say not a lot of reward. I've done a couple of cars now where I fully three starred them and they're, they're just not they're not amazing. Let's put it that way. I'm on PS5. I've got fifteen thousand of scrap so far legit, and I need fast way. There's no fast way. Literally, you're doing it the, the way that the game intended. The only way to do it is to go and buy a shed ton of junk parts out of the junkyard. So, take like fifty, like twenty grand with you to a junkyard, buy everything from the junkyard, and then go back and junk it. Um, to do my Bel Air, I I scrapped like six, seven hundred pages worth of scrap just to do that car three star, and the value of it is what, forty grand more just by doing it all, and it costs so much money to do. You're in fairness, if you just want the most out of the car and you just want like a really good performing engine, just three star tuning parts, and that's all you gotta do. Love your videos, man. Got me through the game level 32. Boom! Nice one, mate. Andrew, thank you very much for kicking by. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've got to be honest, I'm sort of just sitting there going, I, I'm more in I'm more in my brain about doing the story mode. Like, the, the little role play thing I'm doing at the moment. I, I, I'm really enjoying those videos. Ban hammer, boom! Thank you very much, man. That's oh, dude. Thank you, dude. You didn't have to. I will see that money in um, October now. Um, the problem with crates is you have to keep finding crates, which means you have to keep finding maps because you can get a crate from a barn, but then you need to get a you need to get a map from um, yeah, you need to get a map from the, the uh, from the scrapyard. In my other game, I've got 11 of them. <clears throat> but the problem... Yeah. I will learn to speak. The problem with doing it from the crates is you're not always getting... You're not, you've got a 1 in 5 chance of getting it. And that would be the downside. It's like, you might get them, or you might not. But, I mean, for the work, it's... I would say it's not worth it. And the only reason why I'm saying that is just because I've done it. I've sat there and gone through every single bit scrapping bits and pieces off and by the end of it I mean even if you if you watch Diesel's channel he's like he's so bored of scrapping stuff just to upgrade a car that he, he he's like me now we just upgrade the engines because there's no bloody point in doing everything else <laughs> I like to take jobs with one listed and hopefully it gives me a, a crate for 25% yeah I, I get you Right, let's get all this stuff off. I'm actually glad it's got quite. It's got. It's got bits of it left, isn't it? Yeah, I I, I watch Diesel all the time. I, I haven't watched his latest video because I only I didn't, I didn't. Well, I didn't get enough time to today. Let's put it away. But I will tomorrow because I'll I'll sit down. The kids will have their breakfast and I'll I'll sit here and I'll watch Diesel's video for the morning. It's like yeah, that's, that's me done. Right, interior dismantle. Let's get the seats out. Thank you very much. I, I'm. I know I'm not as big as Diesel. Well, I'm, I'm fat as Diesel, but I know I'm not as like big of a YouTuber. 
But that, that's my goal. If I can get to his level, then I know that I've got like income coming in that I, I can do this properly now. I just hope people are enjoying what I'm doing. That, that's all I care about now. Right, so if I can leave myself about 10 grand, worst comes to worst, I have to go and buy another car and flip it quickly to finish this one off. But I think we've got enough to do this. I think. I'm building an old Chevy van at the moment while watching. Oh, cool, man. Don't forget the, don't forget to lock it away safely. And if you don't get that reference, go and watch my latest video. No, I just... Oh, I'm, I'm, li I'm liking some of the feedback I'm getting for the story mode bit. Because it is... I've said this a couple of times. I'm just bored of Let's Play. I'm bored of sitting here. Oh, I'm not paying attention. I'm bored of basically doing the same as everybody else. Like, let's play the game. You know, sitting here and just going, hey, and today we're going to be doing this. And it's like, oh, shit, that's going to cost me a shot. That's going to cost me a lot of money. And um, I'm just bored of doing let's plays, which is why I created the story, because it's different. You know, okay. Yeah. I like the fact people know that reference because of that video. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm making them. It keeps me happy as well. This is my first guitar mechanic simulator. I'm enjoying. I, yeah, yeah, 2018 was all right. It was it had a few ups and downs. Uh, I don't have the necessary parts. Yeah, I've just ballsed up a ton of that as well. So. Okay, so first off, we need to get this going. Move number one. Move number one. And what we'll do is we'll wash it as well. So I'll. S if I get this cleaned and done first, we'll wash it through so it's clean. And we're going to have to buy all new parts. Ah, cheers, dude. But I'm just. Um, I, it, I think it is just because, like, no one else is doing anything really creative, if you know what I mean. Like, it's. It's a lot of the same crap from everybody. You know, I, I can tolerate watching like other YouTubers, but when it's when you've been watching the same thing over and over again, you're just like, this is why I don't enjoy games. So that that's why I created the series. Right, let's move this over to the wash. And then we can wash up. Like I've said before, this doesn't do anything to the value, it just makes it look all shiny. And what a lovely colour. <coughs> Hope you win. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to win an Oscar, dude, but thank you very much. <laughs> I put it in there I put it in there just to have a joke. I got it it was just funny, you know. Um let's just check 1920 full screen, yes, V Sync, yes. There just seems to be it just seems to be a bit slow. Is it lagging for any of you guys out there? Because if so, I'll, I can have a look around. For the taxi drivers who deliver right. people home. So first off, we need to and buy. To the night. What are we going to buy? I think we need to sure get. Let's get the suspension stripped off. Delivery is open late and here for you. And let's start separating the wheels. In a world ruled by speed, where destinies are decided by downloads, a hero has arrived. Hello. I meant no sky broadband ultra fast. Huh? It's ten times faster than standard fiber, making That's everything okay. If it's not lagging for you, then I'll keep it as is. I think it is just because I'm streaming and I'm playing the game at the same time. It seems we've been doing this since launch. Like, I think even when I was watching Diesel play this just before it was launched, he was like, well, it's lagging my end. It's like, it's perfect on the stream, you know. Forty-four minutes in, and we've completely stripped down the Volvo. Doing good, doing good. See if we can repair those rims up. Two of them. That saves us a little bit of cash. That's good. Cool, 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 cool. Right. I think we need to buy an entire bodywork for the car. So first off, let's go bodywork and just buy everything. And this is where it gets expensive.
And this is why I'm not buying like premium parts. And we need to buy license plates. I'm just going to choose that one. Oh, we're going to go to Estonia. There we go. Right, let's stick all this together. And we don't have to. We don't have to paint the car. The, the car doesn't have to be painted because the car doesn't. I'm not really sure about value of when how it should be. But. It's all good, right? We're getting there real quick. I'm not sure if I put the side window on the other side as well, so I'll go and check that in a minute as well. Take that, do that. Oh, yeah. All right. That window. Oh, no. You're not supposed to be in there. Yes, that one. There we go. Brand spanky new there, matey. Right, and that. Fantastic. Right, so that's all the bodywork done for this car, and already the car is worth a whopping 4000 So we're actually getting more money, even though it's completely stripped down, but it's straight, it's doing new panels, it's all right. And there we go. Next is um, it's everything, basically. So thankfully we've got bits here that are okay. We're all right there, but we need everything else. So it's going to get expensive. Yes, I know I'm clicking on the body panels as well that are left, but I won't buy another set. I'm done on that. Hopefully I'll be more intelligent enough to go, hey, yeah, I don't need that. Maybe. And we only need two rims. I know. Not sure what I've got laying around in my get in my warehouse. Oh no, I haven't got nothing in the warehouse because this isn't that playthrough. Is a GTR worth 63k buying and fixing? I suppose. The thing is, is if a car is worth 30, you're putting 20 into it, right? Use the, uh, uh, This is how I always work out a car. I'm going to buy a car for let's say 10 grand, okay? I buy a car for ten grand. I'm guaranteed I'm going to be spending about fifteen thousand on it, about ten to fifteen grand. So I need twenty-five grand. If I can make the profit back, then I should do. But you know, with this one, I'm I'm almost guaranteed to make profit. But that's how I work out the cars. It's it's literally a ten to fifteen thousand dollar profit, or a ten to fifteen thousand dollar budget on every single car. I'm pretty sure I only need one of these. Right. After upgrade toolbox to max level, what is the best upgrade? Eh, right, uh, I would go with restoration and discount, and then work on everything else as you go. That's just me. Do tires in a bit, we'll do that in a bit. We need, do I need four of these? I assume I need four of these, because, why not? Buy an eight. After fully restoring and upgrading the parts, each car cost me around 30 to 40 grand. Yeah, because it's not cheap. That's why I wouldn't upgrade all the parts. I would just, I would just buy and be happy. 
I always buy 20. Always. I can use them on the other car to put the car after buy. Yeah. Challenge is about right. LS Electronics. Need one of those. That's electronic. Front section. We definitely need one of those. I know, apparently we need two of those, but I... Do I need two of those? Apparently I do. I might have just put, I might have pushed the thing twice, which would have sucked. Medium time. We need that later. Timing chain. We definitely need one of those because that goes on the cams. Yep. Front Starting a family comes two of those. with some changes. New bedtimes. I buy today. I buy today. Car on barn for 18k, and I fully restored car, and I'm only in profit of 6k. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Clean of classic, clean if you're if you're fully restoring a car, they're expensive. That's why. This is why I don't. If if I'm fully restoring a car, you have to know that you're going to be spending a shit ton of money on it. I mean, there's no way around it at all. It's I'm going to have to spend X amount, and I may as well just get ready to for the for the butt fucking. Basically. In a world ruled by speed, where destinies are decided by downloads. Oh yeah, 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 it is. But is it really worth all that time? That's that's what I'm getting. This is what, when I keep saying like upgrading to three star parts is completely fine. But is it really worth all of that pissing around just to do it? That's what I didn't like about the three star section because the problem with the three the three star section itself is that it takes so long to do it. I mean, you know, the the bonus is good, but it is it really worth the amount of time you have to spend doing it? That that was my whole that was my whole thing about it. I mean, this is why I don't I haven't sold my Bel Airs. Well, I haven't sold my my proper Bel Air because I've three starred the whole car and I'm never going to get rid of it. The other one I could because it is literally just upgraded properly, but I don't intend to fully get. I don't intend to ever get rid of my other one at all, ever, until I get a brand new car mechanic simulator game. That Bel Air will always be in front of my car in front of my garage. That that car was an investment, and just because it's there now and it looks cool. Don't three star the parts. Ah, okay. Well, it's not upgrading then. It's just, it's just buying new things then. Timing chain. Need that. This car I reckon is gonna get me forward. Oh yeah, you'll get a condition bonus because that's just the game. Did I buy that? I can't remember now. I'll leave that there just in case I have to come back to it and it's like, oh, I didn't buy this. That's the electronics. Thankfully, I need one of those. The worst one I'm looking forward to, it, well, I'm not looking forward to it, is the... Um, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to buying the gearbox. The gearbox is going to be expensive. Even with even with the uh, the the discounts, they're still expensive. And the, and the block. Rims in a bit. Wheel hubs. Someone just joined as a subscriber. Boom. Thank you very much for subscribing there, matey. Most appreciated. Is it uh, Bech, Bechta? Thank you very much there, matey. If I butchered your name, I, I'm so sorry. I was literally like today. It wasn't. It wasn't today. It was the other day. I had a person comment, <coughs> and this person commented in Turkish. I only knew Turkish. I only knew it's Turkish because my wife went, "Hey, it's Turkish." I was like, "Okay, cool." So I was talking to somebody, and the only way I could have a conversation with them was with Google Translate, and thankfully, it translated Turkish quite well in the right order. I apologise for the coughing. <clears throat> Still not quite over this whatever is wrong with me. and I'm not sure what it was, so yay me. Uh, clutch plate. Yeah, I need a new clutch plate. I need a new everything. Everything on this car was knackered. Rod caps. I'm, I'm going to buy eight because I may need them for another car. Probably. 
17 belt has to be bought front knuckle we definitely need two of those <sighs> don't need relays timing chain shoes we need two of those because they go on the front of the engine extended manifold oh, okay crud medium fuse type C engine block yeah that's a two grand boom we're getting I better have enough parts. I better have enough money for all this. I know rims are going to be expensive. Tires are going to be cheap. I'll buy the. I'm going to buy cheap rims. Hit my first bug in the game. Repair the job completely. And when I wanted to finish it, I got messaged out of a car. Where the car is in worse condition of when it arrived. I repaired with all new parts, uh, but car hadn't. Really? Wow, that's different. Me personally, I would get hold of the Discord straight away and be like, "Hey, what the fuck is going on?" Um, not Discord, the chat on the Steam. I'd, I'd go and pester them. Gearbox, oh Jesus, this is this is hurting me now. <clears throat> Let's put it this way: this this is better be worth it. Because this is it's getting it's getting like eh, it's painful. I mean, thankfully, I think we've 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 spent the most money. Uh, camshafts. We need two of these. Yep. Just came in. Was anything good in the current car? No. This car was straight out the basically you couldn't get any worse. Well, you could if like everything else was missing. Everything was on the car, it was just ratted. You couldn't you could I don't think you could get any worse condition. I've saved a few bits. But it's it, this is going to be an expensive fix, but I'm hoping the payday is going to be worth it. It's, it's knackered basically. Wheel hubs. I think we need two of those. I'll wait until it comes up down the bottom. I can read it faster. Intake manifold. Yeah. I uh, just looked into it. Apparently, it's part of the back in certain. Put a pin back in the certain place that's lower than the part. Oh, okay, yeah. Right. Hold on, so yeah, looked into it, apparently it will put back in a certain place, so that's lower than the part arrived, it will come up with that message, only way to get around it is to dismantle everything. Um, yeah, this is why I created the guide. I know, I, I, I get it, right. What you gotta do is scan through the car quick, so you don't have to take the whole car apart, scan it, and then find the piece that's wrong, and then put it back on. That's all you gotta do. We're in expensive territory now because if I get, if I screw up now, <laughs> it's <laughs> I won't. Ha I, I'm just gonna have to repair what I can on this car and then just sell it. Thankfully, I've almost bought everything. Uh, yeah. If you've still got, if you've also, if you've still got the um. The, the list of everything you have just go through the list of all the parts you've put back on the car and go from there that's yep yeah, I knew that was going to be an expensive part the engine head I know uh, there's something else on here that was never put in so I've actually got to do this um, it's a suspension part let's get rid of that need four of these right electronics this is where it might get a little bit more expensive <laughs> reason to carry Kleenex number maybe six. we'll see oh, mommy, look. I need three of these Ugh, messy. at the school gate I would scan. Mm, I sure me personally, that that's what I I would just scan all the parts. So, ODB, um, elect, you know, the multimeter, everything. I would literally just scan everything first, eliminate what you can, and then inspect the rest of the car. Because if you can inspect the car and get all that done, then you're slimming down where that part could be. 
because it could just be a rubber bushing if it's just a rubber bushing it's a pain in the ass but it just has to be done yeah man that's that's why I, when people when people have a good like oh banana pie boom thank you very much for the super chat man good afternoon just wanted to stop by and say keep up the great rate thank you very much matey thank you very much for you know sticking around it means a lot uh rear window we don't need that type b we need three so yeah i would examine the whole car first through and then do this that, and the other and then i get like when people put comments down they're like oh yeah why do you do this it's like because if i don't do this i'm literally my head starts having a go at me it's like, oh you should be doing this you should do that but then it starts to make sense for me that i'm repairing all this stuff just in case something goes awry and it happens i'll take two of those just in case Medium fuse, we need three. Apparently, I only need three of these, but I don't think I do. I need a battery. I don't need a battery, I'll charge it. It's so much cheaper. We've got three grand left. I don't think we're going to be able to buy the wheels. We, we can buy a cheap set of rims to put onto this, but I don't think we're going to be able to buy like the ones I want to put into it. <coughs> oh, dude. Just waiting for the battery now. So, we got three grand to buy wheels. <laughs> oh boy right um yeah that's not gonna be fun uh tires no we're gonna go cheap tires standard tire there we go so who, I, I can't remember who was asking about tires but this is the tire section so there we go i will try it tomorrow morning yeah that's fair so okay we need standard tires this one and we need 16 by 205 by 55 so 16 by 205 was it 205 by 55 there we go not bad 492 quid for tires get in right rims this is where it might be uh, I, I, I only need to buy two rims because we fixed the other two so rim 16 so we need 16 inch rims if I screw this up I'm doomed Money wise, I haven't got a lot left. Interior. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Don't need the battery. Did I buy those fuses? Now I can't remember what I've done. Uh, electronics. Let's just buy two more just in case. I'm pretty sure I have, but. Right, so we've got 1,900. This car, so to put this into perspective, this car has cost 20, 27, I think it's like $25,000 to basically do all this. So, yeah, that, that's why we tend to say what we do when it comes to advice. Overspending in this game sucks. So, hopefully, this car is going to get me like 40, 50 grand. If not more, that would be nice. More would be good. Right, let me just actually, we've got to put this together first. That's good. Now we need to put the wheels together. Install, done, cool. And join that part, that part, and that part. And then we can take this one off, this one, join that one and that one. And we take this one off. That one stays on there. Yeah, I have to. Unfortunately, I'm having to do everything. This car, there, there was just nothing good on this car left. And if there was, I it was because I repaired it. There was nothing else. Scrap wise, I mean, I'm probably going to get a couple of grand spare, which would be nice out of this, but we'll be all right. 
I think the problem is, is like trying to set this uh, to do this in one live stream. So having to stick all this together in one live stream is, gee, it's a lot of work. It really is. I hope people appreciate the fact I'm trying to do this. <laughs> so I need, I need to be in a hundred thousand. That that's literally where it needs to be. A hundred k or 120, 130k is like where I need to be for money. We've just spent, I think this one's going to make us like 70. And then after that, 70, we'll do another massive, we'll probably buy like a really nice car so we don't have to do as much. Most of it will probably just be like stripping things down and being done, but yeah, we'll see how things go. It's, um, it's just sort of making my way, getting it done is the harder part. And I think... I don't think anybody's ever done like a full go from zero to 100k in one go before. I think it's all just been staggered. Faster than standard fiber, making everything you do online feel epic. The next generation of broadband is here. New Sky Broadband Ultra Fast. Already available to 15.7% of UK homes, and we're adding more every day. Comparison of average download speed of Ultra Fast Plus versus standard fiber speeds. Measure to router. See Sky.com. When you unlock the power of premium. But thank you, like freedom. I said, I know how to edit freedom the profile now, so if I need, if I want to, oh, I bought two device. of those. The freedom to skip you songs as many times as you want, even on mobile. The freedom to listen offline, even listen to all your music ad-free. Experience the power of premium. Tap the banner to learn more. There's going to be little bits like that that are going to get me. Worst comes to worst, I'll just have to sell the scrap off to try and earn a bit more money. Come on, faster, faster, faster. If only there was like supersonic mode. What do you want doing? Everything, now, quick. Oh, that's just... So we've got a couple of spare brakes as well because I, I I bought too many. So I'll pro as I said, what I'll probably do is just end up like selling everything when I've finished. And then it just adds to the profit. That's all. Uh, that's all I'm caring about. It's just all I'm caring about is trying to make money ASAP now. That's it. And don't forget. Oh no! Don't forget. If you are liking this, just finished the Chevy. Awesome. 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 That's what we like to hear. More people fixing stuff. It's all right. right. We need to go here. Yes. And then we need to plug this in. Yes. And then we need to take the spring cap, we need to plug that in, and we need to put the spring on, and that goes there, and then we need to put the cap on, and it's, oh, yes, it's lovely, ha, ha, ha. And then we need to put the arm on, and it is, oh, yes, and then we need to put the spring on, yes. Yavo! ta -da. And there, and then that goes there, and that goes there, and then we put this up here, and there we go, we have finished off the, the back end suspension area. Whoop, whoop, it's okay, it's awesome. About 30k profit, cool. I think I've spent about... How much have I spent on the car? Ah, oh, you crapper. Right, um... Yeah, I don't know how much I've actually spent on this car. I think I've done... The car itself was like four grand. And then I've spent 20-something on it. So, 
so far, I think well, I'd say happily we're up to about twenty-five grand that we've spent doing this car, <laughs> which is OTT. But I mean, I did say that it costs about twenty thousand to do a full car, so I did sort of expect it, which is why, strangely enough, is why I put the steps in to get up to twenty k as quickly as possible. And then people have a go at me going, "Oh, why'd you do this?" Because so, I have to. And if I don't, I'm not gonna make it. Button. Oh, please let me out. I've got to balance that one off. Ah, oh, it's still on the. Thank you. Right. Oh my god, I almost had a heart attack. I know that one. Left on the balancer. Oh my god. Right. Let's go. But yeah, the idea is like to do as much as I can as quickly as I can and make as much money as I can. Basically, that's that's the whole thing. Let's drop this down, and then I need to put the interior in first. Add interior. Oh, we didn't buy any back seats. Lovely. So we need to do that. And the steering wheel, I think. Yeah, we need a steering wheel. Uh, T. Oh, T. Interior. Steering wheel. Oh, that's 200 quid for a fucking steering wheel. You're joking, right? I need a cheaper steering wheel than that. 200 is way too much for a steering wheel. 150. <coughs> It is the old Volvo, yes. Um, I want a cheap steering wheel. And the cheapest steering wheel they've got is 150 doll heads. Oh, 80. There we go. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> 80 quid for the steering wheel. Yeah, we need to buy that, though. What up, Luke? How's things, matey? I can't believe I just bought the cheapest steering wheel. I'm gonna put this. <laughs> awesome. Uh, add interior, put the bench in, yeah. And put that awesome chain 80s style steering wheel into a Volvo. <laughs> Fantastic, right, let's get this up. Assemble mode. Oh no, not assemble mode, engine mode. Now we go parts. Stick the battery in. Oh, you've, oh yeah. I screwed that up, didn't I? <sighs> it's going to be expensive. I can't... It's this bit, isn't it? I can't remember which bit it was. I need to ghost that. That one. Whilst we're here, let's put this in. Let's put this in. Let's put this in. You don't use engine sand. Um, it's it's mainly because I took this car apart without really thinking. So at the moment, no. But I normally do. It's just because I was taking it all apart and I was talking, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, it's just my fault. Normally, yeah, I just disconnect the gearbox and take the engine out. But I, yeah, that's stupid. So this car's gonna go up and down a few times before it gets finished. Let's put that on. Hopefully. As soon as I put the crankshaft in on the pistons. Oh, you bastard. I swear I bought these. No. I think I've just bought... I've bought way too many... Oh, shite. Only one of those. Got plenty of those. Play to win with Oreo. Press play to get front row. Press play and feel the music flow. Scan any Oreo pack for your chance to win hundreds of music prizes. UK and ROI 18 plus closes 30th November 2021. For full T's and C's, visit PressPlayWithOreo.com. In a world oh, ruled that's by speed, where destinies are decided by downloads, a hero has arrived. Hello. <laughs> and no oh. that ultra fast. It's ten times faster. Minor illusion. What's up, dude? Taking much kicking by. Online, feel epic. <laughs> the next generation of broadband is here. New Sky Broadband Ultra Fast. Already available to 15.7% of UK homes and um, where of average download speed of Ultra Fast Plus versus standard fiber speeds measured to rutasysky.com. This is where I'm gonna lose like all of my money straight up. Now I better have enough, let's put it. I better have everything, because if not, this car is going out in whatever condition it goes out in, basically. Right, so we need to put the block in first, then we need to put the camshaft in. 
And then we need to raise it up. Well, we need to raise it up, then put the climb shaft in, then put it down, put the pistons in, then put it back up. So yeah, I ballsed up. I didn't take the engine out and put it on the lift. So that was, that again, my bad. On the plus side, I can put all of this stuff in now. So we'll be all right. If I need anything else now, like, and it costs me more than $380, yeah, I'm going to be, like, scrapping things. Or I'm just, I'm going to put the car together as quick, as much as I can. Oh, you bastard. I don't know if I'm going to have enough for buy a drive shaft. Oh, I'm going to have to sell some scrap. Crap, 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 scrap. Even now, I don't, know, I don't know if I'm going to have enough, so I think the idea is I'm going to have to build the engine first, sell off everything I can. I know I've bought a few extra too, an extra too many bits, but I need a new drive shaft and I haven't got 650 quid. So that, that's, this is when it gets a bit more expensive for me. Did I already put the camshaft in? I already put the camshaft in, I've got to put the pistons in now. That was my, that again, stupidity, I should have done, I should have done this as well. Hope I'm having a great weekend. Ah, uh, sort of, dude. Sort of. Doing alright, though. Um, one hour in, I've got, like, $380 left, but I've got the entire car to put together. It's all good until there's nothing left. See, I bought too many pistons, which means I've got extra cash here. And I can sell all this stuff off as well. I might be able to refurb some of this, maybe, depending on what's left. But yeah, normally, I would take the engine out and put it on the stand and I can rotate from there. But, me being me at the stupid time, I took the gearbox off and took everything else off. I was like, yeah, I was a bit still. Well, now what I want to do is I want to put everything back together and then fill everything up. And then I've got to put the drive shaft on, which means I'm going to have to sell everything in my inventory just to buy a drive shaft. So that's going to be fun. Intake manifold goes on. Thankfully, we, I think we've got another spare bit of this. Well, I think I bought two of these, which was stupid. How you doing, John? Hope all is well your end as well, because of what you're... And you went to the hospital today. Was it yesterday or today you went to the hospital? I can't even remember. Genuinely, I'm just way with the fairies a lot of the time. Right? Bam, bam, and I don't like doing these. These and bloody fuel and the push rods, they can go and do one. I don't like doing them, they're just annoying. If there was a way of eradicating these from engines and just everybody using nice parts, good. It was yesterday. Hope you hope you're doing okay, then, man. Put the cam gears back on. Thankfully, we bought bowl like everything alone. Now we can put the timing chain on. Now we can start putting these things back on. Yay! Oh, happy days! Oh, happy days! See, I think it's gonna be. Like, this car, when it's finished, <coughs> then we need to find, like, a really nice high-end car. And then you can start repairing or trading up from there as well. And I, the the high-end cars actually trade up quite nicely as well. So, if you, ever, if you ever need a bit of cash and you've got... If you've got money, but you haven't got enough to carry on, yeah, trading up, like, high-end cars is actually quite a good way of carrying... Of, like, doing extra missions. So, we need to put this on. And we need to put this on. Oh yeah. There. I don't remember buying an alternator. So we might be a bit stuffed up with Poo Creek right about then. So that could be fun. Don't think we've got enough for the alternator, so I'm gonna to have to X that as well. 
Um, let me just go and see how much that is, because I know the alternators aren't cheap. 200, hey, we can buy an alternator, we're good. Out the appointment because they had a nurse practitioner to see me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yes, we'd like to do. We'd like to change the meds. Oh, uh, why? Well, because no, no, there's no because. Why? I don't really want to be paying extra for the same sort of thing. I did. Go, we, we went to a, a small car show today as well, and uh, I uh, instantly. I mean, I, I'm a bit. I'm a big sucker for a Bel Air, but I fell in love with the. Um, some guy bought a '64 Impala to the show, so they're quite they're quite hard to get hold of in the UK. And um, this guy bought it in. It sounds amazing. And I was just like, you know what? If I if I could have one, it'd be cool. I actually found one on um, on eBay. It's it's not in my area, but it's it was only three grand. I was like, I could have that. That'd be a good family car. 1970, so it's tax exempt and it's like MOT exempt. All I got to do is just get it to work every now and then. I was just like three grand for that, and I'm paying like four grand for a Citroen C4. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The downside to running a big car like, a, like a, an Impala though is that how about when you're rushing because your housemate took forever to a lot of fuel. in the shower. Video. Nice. So I'm waiting for the adverts to finish. Yeah, this is uh, uh, the one that I was looking at on eBay was a 70, and I was like, oh, I could drive that. I'm a big sucker for American cars, like the nicer ones. Like Impalas, for some reason, I like them. Belairs, I, I adore Belairs. I think it's just the class. <clears throat> it's just, for me, a Belair is a cruise car. It's one of those cars you can just sit in and just, you know, just ease off down the road and just, you don't give a damn about how fast you're going as long as you're just enjoying the ride. I think that's what I like about them. Ah, oh, this is 2021. Nice one. We don't. We haven't. I mean, we we do have like classic cars in in the UK, but they're more like. You know, they're just, uh, for me, they're just, there's the, there's a the pedigree, and it's just for me, it's not there. I mean, the cars that were the show today were all right. I mean, there was a couple of v, there was a couple of Beatles, there was a couple of like, you know, just the standard thing that you would always see at a, a UK car show. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was actually I enjoyed myself today. There was one person turned up in a Lamborghini though. It was like, yeah, I'll take that as a photo. We're all good there. Couple of AC Cobras as well. I was well impressed. It was that they were actually original. And um, there was a a, a nineteen seventy. Let me just find the photo. I'm pretty sure I put it up. If I can find the photo, I'll show you. It was that bad boy. Focuses. It's the official pace. It's one of nine um, 1970 pace cars, and there's only nine in the UK. And I was like, "What?" And I was, it was just like, I have to I had to have a photo of that one. I had to. Bro, right, can you show me what I need to repair? Um, to repair well, to repair stuff on the table. Uh, if you want to repair stuff, you have to have these open. So um, you need the body repair station, the workbench, the brake lathe, and the engine tools. 
Yeah, you have to buy the garage expansion section first. And you need all these tools. You need all of this. All of this. Open. Dumb. Yeah, I know, man. It's. I think in, in some respect, when it comes to, like, cars, I'm more of a, like, I, I prefer American cars. It's not just because they're big and... It's not because they're big and bulky. It's mainly just because there's more style. Like, the UK, we're down to, like, mass production, and we get a lot of foreign cars, so they're all, like, Citroëns and Volvos, and now we're up to, like, Kia, and, you know... You get a lot of, like... You get a lot of cars, but then there's all, like... They're all very simplistic in style. But for some reason, the generation of, like, older American cars, like, it hits me. I, I actually like them all. You have all of this. Okay, so you put the parts on the table. It tells you which ones to do. I'll show you. Right. So if I want to come into here and I want to repair a part part, I put it onto this one. This is a parts table. And this is a body table. That is a body table. That is a body table. That is a parts table. That is your brake lathe. That's a parts table. That's the engine stand. <coughs> Basically, if you push this button and you get a list of things that comes up that you need to repair, that's what that's where you need to do it. Right, I think that's everything in this engine apart from the drive chain. Drive shaft. That's all that's left. Yeah, I I I, I just prefer like the an American looking car. I think that's just me in all really. It's, as I said, everything else, I'm pretty standard. I just like everything, but when it comes to cars, I have a thing for, yeah. Well, you get it. Let's get rid of all that. Let's give me some, oh, thank God I've got two and a half grand. I can buy the drive shaft for this car. <laughs> I, I was getting desperate. Drive. Oh, shh. It's that one. We're done. Cool. Right. Lift the car up again. Up you go. And then we need to put the drive shaft on. Oh yeah, now we're good. So we spent twenty something grand on this car. Twenty, uh, yeah, and we got some money back. So we did like twenty. About, it's probably about twenty five, twenty six on this one, which sucks. On body table, some text, net message. You don't have necessary parts. That means you just haven't. Yeah. So. If it doesn't come up, it doesn't come up. That's just all you can say, really, mate. I can't, I can't make the game do it for you. Yeah, the problem is, is a lot of modern cars nowadays are all going to be, um, they're all going to be electric. The combustion engine goes out of date soon, so that'll be fun. So this is the Schnitzel engine. Um, everything's a hundred percent. Everything's a hundred percent, and the car is worth. 48 grand. We're making 43,000 in profit. Parts value 27. So we actually spent 27 grand on this car. Sell. Go. We're halfway there. So now I need to buy another car. We need to start flipping again. But we can now buy an expensive car instead of buying a crappy car. There we go. Now we need to go. If we go back to the car auction, we can have a look and see what we can pick up. Now we can look in the nicer section. So that means we can buy, like, we don't have to do as much to a car. So, yeah, car auctions. Here we go. Yes, the nice car section. Just not sure what can get me the most amount of profit. I mean, this is going to be worth it. Lift from your shoulders as you place your shopping bags down. Listen to the hustle and bustle of families fade all around you. Your dream car would be a Chrysler Valiant Charger. Fair enough, man. Relax and avoid standing I don't know which in the car to get for this though. On the My McDonald's app. Have a salvage. Find a table, order, and we'll do the rest. Two Volvos. Mm. Table service is at participating restaurants only. Visit the McDonald's website for a list of available restaurants. We could just go full retard and buy a Ferrari, and that would just do it, wouldn't it? I mean, there's not a lot hey left in this car. Eilish. It's Listen worth 62 grand, hits, a where hits are made. and it will fun. make it as well. Like, this is the scrapyard. You know what? That's an idea. Let's go and let's go and check out with Larry's yard. We'll be all right then. Hmm. 
I did get a blessing. Like I got, I got Kerry's blessing today when we walk around. And I pointed out that there was a, someone who bought a Camaro along. Like uh, it was a 2019 Camaro. I was like, "What do you think of this?" She went, "Yeah, it's nice." I said, well, "Okay, what's wrong with it?" She goes, "Well, it's only got two doors, but it has got four seats, which we, we could put the kids in the back." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, it's good. We can do this." <laughs> All I need is like 40 grand. How do you have actual names? I have a mod. Um, there should be a link in the description box below. To I, I got mine from Nexus mods, but there you can get them from um, you can get them from uh, thingy as well. I'm being admitted, and they're gonna try. Give me a sec, guys. Cool, cool, cool. Right. So I'm having to talk to the wife because I had to take her back to hospital today because um, her tube came back up, which means that she has to have all that put back in. So yay. Right, let's see if we can buy a piece of shite and then do it up and then make some more money. Uh, yeah, so there should be... I think there's a link in my description box for mods, uh, for the for the real name thing. So there's 11 cars. Did you mod in more cars? Yeah, yeah, because that's the joys of the play. That's the joys of having the PC. Is it's uh, yeah, it's you can just add all this stuff in, and it's all good. I like these cars. This is worth it. This is a nice car. I, I've done one of these already in um, my series. Looking for something special. Oh wow, it's another one. The Dodge. Do an Evo. Let's click that back out there. Yeah, so th this is the. It's um, so I know people. I know they get they get a bit funny with like the the battle between PC and console. Okay, I get it, right? But I will say that I am both. I like consoles, right? I have a console. I also have a PC. The reason why I choose to do all my stuff on PC is because it's easier to do stuff on PC for me to do all of this stuff for you guys. Right? That's the reason why. Check the piles, you'll find barn maps. Yeah, I don't really, I'm not really worried about barn maps. I'm worried about making money. And I think this might be a good start. Because this... i got to be honest, the engine's not that bad. I mean, it's ruined, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. We're going to auction. Yeah, so I'm not. I'm not really going for. I need to do this quickly, and going to a barn's not quick because that means I have to buy a car. Because then it's, it's there's a lot of messing around, and I have to do this because I have to do that. Um, we're gonna get car. I'm gonna go car. I'm gonna buy a car from the car auction this time. Whatever car it is, I will buy it. Well, whatever one takes my fancy. But we need to start making. We need. We need like another seventy grand, basically. We haven't done a Tesla. We could do it. We could do a Camaro. Mm. Mm. The jury super noise. <laughs> this car's forty-two grand, and it's a four-star car. Jesus, that's a good-looking engine. Like, that's clean. I'm not expecting a lot to be wrong with this. I mean, we'd only have to upgrade certain things or fix it, so that's not too bad. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I, I like the salvage. I think it's pretty cool. So the, the reason why I play this on PC is because of the mods. Because the mods make this game... So I got when I was playing uh, 2000 and when I was playing 2018, it was like I I, could, I didn't really want to spend loads and loads of money buying like all the DLC packs. I was trying to keep that back a bit. So what I did was I, I, I spent a long time downloading all the cars on that game that I could play, and that was a big thing for me because it was like if I kept this, then I'm all right. I, I've got the ability to play a lot of the game. 
Um, and that that's the reason why I went PC. And I know people go, well, you know, but console, you know, PC is better than consoles. Like, maybe so, but I mean, for me, I, I I still I still like gaming on a console. I mean, this is a four-star car, so that actually isn't in bad nick. I just have to repair it all. I could probably flip this straight off the lot as well. It's 42. Uh, I've only got 49. And if I buy this, I'm committing. That's the problem. We'll keep that as an idea. I mean, I might, I might buy. I might go for the Buick. The Buick's nice. Right, let's go back in. Let's have a look in salvage quick. So we got a caddy. We got hey, we got an old uh, Deville. The McLaren. It's it's feckin' expensive. I do not have enough money to. Be, I really don't have enough money to buy this car. <laughs> yeah, they're 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 not happy car. Oh, well, look, this one's really this one's really gone. Do you use the auctions? Yeah, I do. I, if you've watched any of my playthroughs, a lot of that stuff comes from auctions and like other. I'm like this is. I know this is a good car for like doing up the Renault Clio. For some reason, that just makes money. This I like the Impala. Yeah. <laughs> this Impala's dirt cheap. Um, I don't think there's a lot. Yeah, it's basically you're gonna have to redo the whole car. Got a full engine now, so we can just copy the engine through. I know what I'm sold on doing now. I might I just want to buy something out of here and then flog it out. Let's have a look at the Ford 100. Needs a new body. Not a yellow. How's things? Watch the vid where you increase the percentage of a car. I was struggling to figure out. Oh, yeah. Um. Not a problem, matey. I'm glad that the videos are helping people. I really am, because it's not it's not all great. I get it. I think this is this could be worth my time. It's worth 32 grand. In a world um, by speed, where destinies are decided by downloads. Oh, going to the paperwork thing. We don't know the condition of this. We don't need that. It's ten times faster than standard fiber, making everything you do online feel epic. Yeah, the next I like it. Broadband is here. New Sky Broadband Ultra Fast. Already available at 15.7%. It's just going to keep outbidding itself for a while. Speed of ultra fast plus versus standard fiber speeds measured to router csky.com. So it's programmed to push your money up. Alright, we got it for 27. That's really good. That's four grand, five grand cheaper than we should have got it for. Let's go and see what that one's worth. I think we just need to straighten up, maybe clean up the bodywork. It can't be that bad. Maybe buy some new bits and pieces on the inside, like the um, the actual like containers. Maybe. Right. So yeah, we need to do a little bit of work on this. found your channel earlier this week and now always watching ah oh, james moore thank you very much there many all right i think this won't be that bad body work wise let's have a look at how much this is worth right now we're gonna make four grand if we sell it now let's put it that way um if we sell it now it's worth four grand if we upgrade the frame in the interior change the battery we can make some money off this straight up if i need the battery out then if we Suspension's a little bit ropey. The rims are real. I like the rims on this. This is bloody nice. So that's okay. That Okay, so the shocks need changing. The arm need changing. Rest of the suspension isn't that bad. It's just... It needs touching up, really. But 
I don't really want to do it all, so I won't. So we'll just move this in and this in. I'll go and charge the battery. This is a, this is a world quick flip, okay, guys. I'm going to change all the body panels because they need it. Um, yeah. So we, I want to paint it all. I want it, I want it all one color, really, which sucks. But if I can just make them different, a, a nice color would be alright. Battery's charged. It's all right. Oh, good, 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 good. Right, get that away. Get that away. When you repair those body parts, it, yeah, that's what I'm going for, man. I'm literally just doing bare minimum, so I don't have to do too much. Mainly just because it's not. I I took this on because it's a quickie. It's not. I'm not going to restore the whole of this car. I want the money out of this one. So, restore the body parts. Keep the glass in it originally. The suspension needs work, but I ain't doing that. I'll let the I'll let someone else in the game do that. But it does need a lot. That's the thing. It's just quick. There we go. But even if I do this now, I'm still gonna make three grand even though I've stripped the I've stripped it. <laughs> go figure, right? So we just put a brand new battery in. So the car is now worth four grand. Alright. And we've we've done the frame, we've done the interior. We're just gonna stick it all back together. Headlights, they're going to be pantsed anyway. Number plate doesn't matter. As long as the body panels are fine and everything else is fine, I'm genuinely not really giving a rats about this car. Going on for something else. The windows are going to be buggered up. I suppose we could have... Uh, uh, did that come off as well? I do like this car though. <laughs> Still a little confused about the tyres and the rim size and thing. Would you be able to do a quick demo? Okay, so yeah, right. This is what you do. I'll do this real quick. Right, so what I need to do first off is I need to take off this tyre. So give me a second. Take this off, take this off, take this. Hi from Tennessee, finally got the game on Xbox, got to level three so far. Boom, loco, go for it. Go, 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 go. Right. So what you want to do is you want to cut. No, you don't want to go to balance. So you want to strip down the tire. So you want to go separate. So you take off the rim. All right. Now the way that you would go shopping for a tire in this game or anything else is this. So we go into our inventory and we add these to our shopping list. So you have add those two things to the shopping list: the sport, the rim, and this. Now, when you go into a shop and you go to the rim shop and you click on, oh, let me just get rid of that. That that was all. This was all last car, so we don't need this. So you click on the rim and you buy one of these and you add that as like the size is what it comes up with here. That's how big the rim is, so 21 inch. So you click on this and you you put 21 on there. Don't worry about the ET. That doesn't really do a lot for the game. It's up to you if you want to mess around with that. But size 21, done. Buy the rim. And then we can get rid of the rim. Now, tyre wise, so you want to go back to tyres. And you want to click on sports tyre, and that will come up with the tyre you need. Uh, the 21 is how big the rim is. So, so it's 21, 21 by 225 by 35. So you come on here, you type in how many tyres you need. You click the size is 21, so you need a 21 inch wheel to go on the 21 inch rim. And then the width is the big number, so that would be like 235. So you put the width up there, and that's how fat the back tire the tire is. The profile is the bit between the rim and the edge of the wheel. So that's the profile. If you want a skinny wheel, then what you would do is you'd buy like a 21 inch rim, and then the profile, the least amount of if you take this down to like less than 60 the profile becomes smaller so you get a lower profile tire that's that's tires and rims basically 
Let me just pull this back together now. But there you go, that's the, a very short guide on rims and tyres. What you can do is it I don't know if it can you I don't know if you guys can clip things. I mean, it's a shame you can't. It's because I haven't got enough subscribers. I don't have enough subscribers to clip things. If I had more subscribers, then I could clip parts of my videos, and I wouldn't have to keep making so many tutorials. I'd just do it all in a live stream. And then people would just clip it all. It's all good. But I don't have enough. It's going to be a long time before I get to that point. Until they go, yeah, everyone can use this feature. Right. Cheers, YouTube. Yep, that's a name. That is the one thing holding me back, is not having enough subscribers to do the small things I want to do. And we make good finds happen. Right, so we just need to flog this car now. We bought this How from a, we bought this from the auction. We just your old laptop. How about when you're adverts? rushing because your housemate took forever in the shower? You know, right? I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy premium at some point, so I don't have to keep putting up with this shit. <laughs> Fucking adverts. All good, man. <laughs> Whatever. Let me just change the music a little bit. I can get three months free. Oh, let's take that. Get three months for free. Uh, we'll do it from that. Continue purchase. Give me a second. I might have to relaunch this. I can get three months for free if I buy if I go premium. Individual plan I only open. That's all right. What I'll do is I'll go with the three months for free, and then I'll tell you guys to smeg off, and I'll just cancel my subscription. Yeah, agree. So I'm doing this now, so I don't have to keep putting up that advert. I've been holding out for three months for free. Let's put it that way. Let me just shut down the music quickly. And then let's just plug it all back up. So I shouldn't get charged now. Shouldn't do. So as you can see on the screen, it's parts value is 25 grand, but I don't have to pay 25 grand. Because all I did was just repair stuff. And now we're gonna make $8,000 profit and it's gonna be all good. So we'll sell that car. There we go. Boom. 57,000. Now we've got 57 grand. If I buy a car for 20, we can do the whole we can do the whole car and it should get up to like 70, 80. Da -boom. Or we can just buy a crappy Oh, this will be worth it. I gotta be honest, I bloody love the Holden. It's a, such a cool, smooth car. I want something that's gonna get. I think the Holden is literally the one that's gonna bring like the most amount of money out of this. I mean, we could do a supercharged AT Cobra. That'd be pretty smart. The Battle Van. Oh, yeah. I saw the skin to that. It's Punisher. I think that's where I think we're gonna have to go. I think that's the one. I think it has to be this. <laughs> if we can pick this up for that like 20, I know there's not a lot to it. For 16, yeah, go for it. We're gonna do up a Holden, by the way, guys. This is it. I think this will tip us to near a hundred grand, and then we can buy a saloon car. And then we can be posh people and be like, yeah, check me out. <laughs> yes. Let me win the car, you oh you to watch. Let me win it. Let me win the car. Thank you very much, AI. Brilliant. Okay, I was overspent by three grand, but we got 38 grand to finish this car. So we're gonna strip the whole car. The whole thing. It should give me a tidy profit. Should do. Should. 
There's a lot of parts for this car, that's the problem. My bodywork alone is ridiculous. It's not cheap either. I mean, at the moment, we stand to make minus 2,146, so... Where's the bat... Oh, I can't remember the bat... Uh, where's the battery? Batteries. There's the battery. So we just need to take this out quick. So we'll do. I always do this to start with. Always. Now, it just seems to be the way. I mean, if I can make profit out of it, then that's all good. Let's do that first. Use equipment. What a lovely fireworks display. That's not too bad. I can turn the music down, that's good. Bum 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 bum. Let me just turn let's turn me up. Uh let's give me a deficit of like three, four. Yeah, four point two, that'll be alright. I don't know why. Sometimes it just like, it doesn't make sense why the audio keeps zoning in and out. There you go. Right, so that's done. That's done. Zoom out. Put the battery back in. And now the car is worth way. We can make two grand now. Now we got to put this up on the lift. Strip the whole thing down. Actually, is it attached? I don't think... It oh, it has got a gearbox in it. Okay, cool. Right, this is all coming off. All of this. There's a lot to this car. Like, body bits. That's literally the only thing that's going to be left. Is that bit of frame. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Multiplayer should not be in this game. I don't mind multiplayer games, but I think this is one of those that's just no. I'm still apprehensive about having like multiplayer in Hydroneer, but I'm glad they're going through everything to put multiplayer into Hydroneer and making the game so it actually works properly. Because <coughs> that was my big fear. Like when when Max was like, "Hey, yeah, we're gonna put multiplayer into like Hydroneer. You just have to be patient." I, I started bricking it. It was like. Uh, how's that gonna work you know yeah it's been talked about for a long time but they're finally putting in and um yeah it's i mean it's, de it's definitely gonna be interesting i refuse to have anybody in my game though absolutely blatantly refuse you guys won't like me if, if, if everybody joined my game you guys really won't like me i don't really want to drain the oil just let it spill all over the floor like the blood of the innocent Right, let's do this. Uh, move. Move to the number one. I'd like to be able to auction cars over to Yes, yes, I agree. There's a couple of things I, I'd like to add to this game, but uh, the likelihood that anybody would listen to me is, well, quite small. Let's put it that way. What Things that I would love to put in this game. I've, I actually went through one of the suggestions when I did my um, junkyard video. No, my auction video. I spoke about having a boneyard. That would have been amazing. And I even like spoke down the uh, the actual way of being able to do that. So there you go. There's the engine. It's a fat engine. Right, now we just need to strip all of this down and put all of this back in. And then we're all good. Also, we're going to need a shit ton of parts for it. Because this is a it's, a... it's not a cheap car. All right. I can't even remember how much this car cost me last time I did this. But... It was, I think this car went for like 90, 99,000 or something ridiculous like that. And we're one hour and 53 in. It's now quarter to nine. I might actually get this done by 11, like this challenge. Gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know if it's gonna be good. I need to lift the car. So the person who modded all this together made everything really small. I mean, it's nice, but they they made everything a little bit smaller so it fits within the chassis. So they actually did think about the actual um, 
like dimensions of the chassis itself and everything. It was when I when I first made one of these cars, I was like, really? Is that it's tiny? But it actually does work out. It's quite it's quite cool. I think this was a I think this is a ninety nine thousand car. So we're actually after this should have enough part I should have enough money to buy a saloon car which means hopefully after I finish this car it's done the challenge is completed and then I can show and then I can sort of do a sneak peek into the rusty nuts garage for like the next few videos cuz that's going to be fun I'm at, I'm looking forward to doing that now I've got so much work to do for the next episode but it I, I don't know it's just I think it's just fun what else would you add to the game if there was an option? So the first thing I would add to the game, and I, I spoke about this in my um, in my video about the junkyard, uh, the auctions. Um, first thing is a boneyard. So the boneyard would be like another version of the junkyard. So you'd have your junkyard, which you will find random crap, right? And that's that's how a junkyard works. Everything in there is random. You don't know what you're ever going to find, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the boneyard would be a premium section. So instead of going in for free, you have to pay to enter the boneyard. And the boneyard will have like 200 cars just laying around in a in a in a, in a random lot. And a few of those cars are ones that you're working on. Let's say that you're working on a Land Rover. A few of the cars in that boneyard are going to be for your Land Rover. Now, each one is going to be slight, is going to be missing different pieces and different variations of it, or different like quality sections. But everything on those cars will be what you are working for. So instead of buying brand new parts, you'd be able to buy specific parts for your car instead of going off and having to buy either a full blown car or brand new parts. That would be something I would add to the game if it was up to me. And they can obviously do it because they do it with a random generator for the scrap for the junkyard. They could do it for a boneyard. And the reason why you would pay to enter the boneyard is because you're guaranteed to find something that you're working on and find parts, but they're gonna be all different variations of quality. That's just where I would go. Um, and then when it comes to like the auction stuff, I would this is where I would add a slight variation of multiplayer. And the reason why I would say this is because if you ever played Forza and you were able to customize like decals and things for your cars, then what you would do is you would build a car, you could design it how you like and paint it how you like and so on and so forth, and then the auction house is online. So there is always a live community buying and selling cars. That's something I would. And the reason why I would add this in it, it would be the only online feature. So all they would have to do is, you know, I don't know, buy the code off of like Forza and learn it how to do it and implement it themselves. But adding an online auction, I'd be able to like buy someone's car and critique it or take it apart or make things better, that sort of thing. And it, that's just how I, that's, that's like, if you look at all of my like Hydroneer videos when I was like taking people's plots and making them better, I'd love to do something like that. So I'd buy like some real shit heap cars from people and do them up as a rest. It would add to my series as well where I could actually buy up someone's car and I could like repair it and then sell it off to a customer. And that's why I, these are the very small things, but these were like quality of life things that I would add to the game. And then you've got the, the the old age favorite that people keep arguing about is like fuel lines and like, you know, that sort of like brake lines and fuel and that sort of thing. I get it. I understand why people want them in, but I think it would make the game too complicated. Then you have to add in like proper electronics. And then at that point, you might as well just be playing like wrench. Yeah. So I think where, where CMS is like at its difficulty rate, I would say this is more of an arcadey sort of like simulator because it's not a true sim if you get what i mean true simulators you would have like every part listed every piece imaginable and then from that that's what i would say is what about adding a passive scrap income all right so a passive scrap income is not a bad idea so what i would do right i guess you could um implement a parts car. yeah so a parts gonna be pretty, pretty cool as well so you'd have like you could have like an you, your online auction could deal with cars and parts instead of buying them off of like the computer which would be the easy way and if you wanted to do stuff like you wanted like four car batteries you could buy four car batteries off of someone and like maybe if, if someone was to restore all these parts and put them out onto an auction site then you, that person would earn a bit more money or it would be like an, a resource economy where you're buying and trading parts for helping other people or 
making money off it. I don't know. That's what, but they're, they're, they're small, interesting little things you could add to games like this to make them more inclusive. I do like this game, but I think with, with it being solely single player, I think it is, you have to make your own entertainment. You know, I mean, I, if you're if you're a, if you're a car monkey anyway, and you just enjoy playing on cars, then this game's perfect for you. But I think when it comes to when it comes to like having yeah having an eBay game. So have you ever played um, PC Building Simulator? PC Building Simulator has a has a small like eBay variety thing on it, and it would, it comes up with, like four or five parts that you can buy for your computer, and it you know they'll turn up to your shop at some point. Um, so it could have something like that in this game and it would work pretty well, you know So there, there are things that this game could definitely work with if the comp if red dot were to put implement them It would make their game better, you know Homeless Mike welcome to the show. How you doing buddy? I Think the best thing they can do is add a, add a showroom where you can put 10 cars. Yes, I would love my show so Again, this would go down to like uh, another thing that you could do. Like owning a garage, completely fine. I haven't got a problem with this at all. But instead of instead of just taking the car and pushing the sell button at the end of it, um, you take that car and put it onto your showroom. So your showroom goes to the customers, and a customer comes in and buys that car. Instead of just having it where you literally just go, "Oh yeah, you bought that car, congratulations," and then you just carry on playing. Yeah, something like that would be pretty cool. You know. I think the reason why they make it the way they did is because you're literally just a car mechanic. That's that's the whole thing about this game. All you do is build and play with cars. When it comes to all the stuff that people want in this game, I think you have to take into consideration that then it comes out of that sort of very small niche that it has, which is being a car mechanic. Then you become a car salesman and a car restorer or a car auctioneer and then it just be and then it starts to I think if you want all of that it needs to be a separate game there needs to be another there needs to be someone else coming onto the market that does this sort of thing but comes up with that extra spin because I think the way that this game is set out you are literally just a car mechanic you know there's one there's a game coming out I, I don't know if you guys ever watched. I don't. I, I did a video called. It was the um, gas station simulator. You do minimum work on on those cars, like changing bulbs, getting rid of scratches, that sort of shit. But it's still a you know, It's still a world where you're serving customers or you're doing things, and it just sort of works, you know. But I think it has to be something. It has to be a special ten, uh, a special brand. You have to have your own game to do this. I think you can't, you can't do too much outside of the bubble, which is Car Mechanic Simulator, and keep it the same game. It would have to be Car Mechanic Simulator or Car Renovator, and then you can get all the, the extra buying and selling stuff. You know, I think that's where it would need to be. CMS as it is, is you're a car mechanic. That's it. You're not a car salesman. You're not a shop owner. You are literally a, a car mechanic. Maybe get job offers for certain companies like Ford or BMW game versions uh, of those that get the wage. Uh, no, because then, you, then you're looking into like a completely different game. I think where, where CMS is, is completely fine. I think you need to look in. I think a new game needs to come out that takes everything that the CMS does, but you need to add those tiny little things that people keep asking for. Like, that's why there's a car detailing simulator coming out because you can detail cars because that's that's a point of the game that somebody wanted enough to build a game around it. Um, you've got Chop Shop Simulator coming out where you can take cars apart and sell them off, and you just don't want to get arrested. Um, what's the other one you can do? Um, but you, you get what I mean. I think if you if you add too much into this game, it just becomes something else. It's not CMS anymore. It is the same as Wrench. Wrench is literally a car building simulator like like CMS, just ridiculously more complicated. If you don't know cars, and like I've said to people before, I'm not. 
when it comes to real life, I know where things are, and I know if they go wrong, then I, I know the repercussions of every section of the car, but I don't know how to take it all apart. I'm, I'm freaking useless. No. Oh, I don't like again. I don't think like multiplayer again shouldn't be a thing, not in the game. Like this. If you want multiplayer, I think that's when another another game needs to come out. You need a, another game which will bring multiplayer in. But I think as this game stands, as as a mechanic simulator, it does the job. It does what it needs to do. I think most of the other suggestions that people keep putting into it are genuinely that's for another game. There's a couple of there's a couple of games coming out that are a little bit more in depth or a little bit different. One of them is under if if somebody wants to race a car and go and play under, Underground Garage comes out at the end of this year hopefully. When that game comes out, it's a bit like this. It's a li it doesn't you know it does like this, but you're able to race cars. You're able to drive, like pick up a car and actually race it. So against other people, it, it apparently is going to be an online game. So there are other options, you know. But at the moment, as it is, this is the best of them all. I would say it's the pedigree. Like all the other games are like just below. I mean, there's the other one called like My Garage, which is a mix between this and My Summer Car, which looks it's okay, but it's very poly. And it, but that thing is it's it doesn't really show you what to do. You just do it. Overheads, yeah. I would say if if you want to play this game realistically, so um, do what I do. So what in in the next couple of episodes for like my rusty nuts garage stuff that I do, um, at the I mean I've just been robbed, so I've had to pay extra money for my security. If you look at the right hand corner of like the money wise, my money dropped by three hundred thousand dollars because I just paid for security. I've just had to do this, and you know I've lost a lot of money. I've lost three hundred grand in, in that story, and the uh, the only reason why I know how to do this is because I edited my save file and took money away from myself. Um, but then let's say that I want to add like wages and stuff into my game. I have to work that out myself. So let's say each of my mechanics is going to get paid like three grand, maybe ten, let's say ten grand. I'm going to pay my mechanics ten grand. So Steve, and then Danny. And Jeff, they're all on 10 grand each. So at the end of the next episode, I might remove like 30 grand out of my own account on the game so I can look like I'm paying my employees. And then when it comes to like the la I have to pay the rent on the building, that sort of thing. So that would be like 75 grand a month or whatever. You know, so I'm, I'm, that's how realistically I was playing this game. The reason why is because nobody else is doing this. Nobody else is role playing a boring car mechanic simulator game no one else is taking no one else is putting a story into their edits they're literally just playing the game in front of you and talking about it and then that's it is it and i, I know it sounds like i'm picking on people oh, it, it actually doesn't sound like i'm picking on people. it just it just sounds like i'm having a go at everybody there's i would say there's not enough effort you know i'm coming from the world of being a small youtuber and i see all these people much bigger channels than myself some of them I enjoy watching, but then a lot of the others are just like, hey, we're going to play Car Mechanic Simulator, and we're going to move the crane, and we're going to do this. It's boring. And I get it. I, I understand why people don't want to watch my channel half the time when I do Let's Play stuff, because it's boring to sin. But I don't understand why that's the norm. <coughs> but that's why, that's, that's why I developed doing the whole roleplay thing. Because nobody else is bothering. You know? Or maybe it's just me. I'm, I'm bored of watching loads and loads of people playing the same game and doing the same thing. And it doesn't keep me watching the game. Maybe, or it's maybe just because I'm bored of being a gamer and I'm just trying to make the world into my own little world. If you know what I mean? Level four, get in. Or it's just because I'm bitching and moaning at like seeing all these large creators and not really doing what I would do. Again, 
it's just me you know what car am I building I'm building the Hold'em <laughs> there's not a lot left of it Using the warehouse a lot more. Never bothered in June. I yeah, I I understand that completely. I know I I never used to use the warehouse a lot. Don't forget about the brake lathe. I won't. Don't worry, man. This is what this is why do I take everything apart first? I don't want to install. But I think I think I'm just I'm even I'm either just bored of the things I was doing and I'm just trying to find a new spin on things, and people have enjoyed it and it's good. And it's awesome, so thank you very much. Um, but I, I think it's more just because I'm in the niche of playing games. I, I, the the whole making the guides thing is completely fine. I enjoy making those guides and helping people. That's what the channel was. That's what it really set out to be in the first place. But then I think what I really want to do is I want to change the way let's plays are seen. And I don't just want them to be a let's play. Let's plays are just boring. You sit there and watch somebody play a level, and then that's it. And it's like there's no, there's no story. There's nothing for me to sit there and go, "Hey, I really want to do this," or "I really want to play this game." And maybe I'm thinking that the way I do my videos might encourage more people to play and maybe actually enjoy themselves. And have a different perspective of what they can actually do in the game. You know, I'm an old person. Uh, you know, when when you look at like most YouTubers, I mean, half most of them are probably around half my age now. You know, I'm I'm getting on. But when it comes to the content they all do, it's all pretty much the same thing. It's over the top reaction crap to whatever's going on in a game, and that's it. And it's like that's not enjoyable for me. Enjoyable for me is being immersed into the game enough for me to want to play it and having somebody that i can listen to quite easily play this game like the ones i mainly watch are dre blitz diesel um i occasionally watch m7 but nah, not so much um but it's, it's mainly that sort of like they 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 bring a lot of entertainment to the game <laughs> Okay, I'm thirty. I'm thirty-eight this month. Like my birthday, I'm actually going to be. I'm going to be doing a birthday stream. Just quickly to all the people that are still here, right? Birthday stream, September thirteenth. Be there or you know, be doing something else. It's fine. Um, but yeah, where CMS twenty has taken a step back. Yeah, I I preferred the parking lot from uh, eighteen as well. In all honesty, and I mean the, the other the other gar I I would say that the other garage, um, because obviously like there were three well there were three or four lifts, so you had three or four lifts, and then you had the three or four spaces behind it, and then you had like your paint booth. But the problem is is like, this is a different area. It's a different garage altogether. We never got to went. We never really went to outside. That was a thing. <laughs> it it was all in one big box. It was garage, paint booth, warehouse, changing things up, and other things. So uh, the I got I got frustrated watching Dre, and the only reason why I got fuck was that? The only reason why I get I got frustrated watching Dre is because he was playing Hydroneer. Uh, it was nothing against him. It was just the way that I, I wouldn't do things. And I I sat there for ages with my hands buried in my head. Just sitting there going, why don't you listen to people? <laughs> and it was just the way that I was doing it. I was like, ah, oh, it, just, it just did not bode well for me. Can you upgrade parts on the electric car I restored? Yes, um... Uh, so in the tune-up shop, you can buy the batteries. Um, you can buy the batteries for the electric cars in here. Pretty sure. 
Now I'm just trying to find them. Exhaust. Done, 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 done. Here you go, like uh, the inverter, the inverter proton, the capacitor. All these things can be upgraded. The power generator. Um, yeah, that sort of thing. Tuning parts can buy. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, we got to buy all this. We've got to do a shopping list. And we, well, we've done a shopping list. We need to buy all this crap now. Right, let's buy it all again. Rubber bushings. We need a shit ton. So we need, like... I always... As I said, I always buy 20. Because that's just what I do. But, yeah, I... I when I was... I watched... I watched Dre... When I was watching Dre, I was just, I was sitting there trying to scream at my monitor because when he was playing Hydroneer, he was doing things that infuriated me. And it's only because like I've done what I've done with that game. I've made a lot of videos and I've done a lot of guides. And I, in fairness, I sort of know what I'm talking about when it comes to that game. And um, I've watched I've watched his videos. I've watched Blitz's videos. And I have sat here and just gone, No! You're supposed to do that! And I've, I've got really... And then, like, Kerry's looked at me and she's going, You're right! And I'm like, No! He's a fucking brick! He's not doing it right! <laughs> so it's, and it bugs me, because, like, other people... They're, they're playing the game how they want to, and that's fine. But because I've got, like, OCD, like, if I watch somebody screwing up on the game, I'm sitting there just going... <laughs> I have right. I have hissy fits of people watching them do things wrong, and it just it just gets to me. <laughs> but I think it's just because that's the way I am. <laughs> but yeah, that that's that's why. Like I watch those people and I watch them fuck up, and you know I I find it funny, but it infuriates me. But then what I can do is I learn from their mistakes, and I make a video about it, basically. The only person who's ever been uh, in, like in front of me, like the way that I do stuff, is um, Josh from Let's Game Out. Because even when I was when there was me, Itchy, and a couple of others, we were testing Hydroneer. Um, we never thought about stealing certain things from the shop. But he did, and it was like boom, out of hands. <coughs> I also watch Cryptic Fox, who plays this game on YouTube. I, I've I've watched I've watched a couple of his videos. He's a Let's player. And all he does is play the game. And he talks. And that's it. It's like... This is what I mean. I, I watch these people. I watch Cryptid Fox. I watch um, Squirrel as well when he was playing Landlord Super. And I've watched him play other games. But they normally just talk about what's going on in the video. There's no... There's nothing driving me to sit there and go, Hey, this is going to be worth my time. And that's what I mean. I, there's, I, as I said, I watch Let's Players all the time because that's the game. That's the niche I'm in. I watch them, but at the same time, I get infuriated because I'm doing. I, I was literally doing the same thing as them, and because they've got a bigger audience, you know, channels like mine disappeared into the ether, and that's why I figured maybe if I change the way I do things then, okay, my channel might get a little bit more recognition as more of an entertainment let's play game. Let, you know, so adding a, the role play idea. And I was like, actually, this is, uh, it's more fun as well. I enjoy making that story. You know, the story that I can put into into play onto that game, in into this, and like, you know, have a garage and people who are like um, employers of mine doing certain jobs around it gives me something to process and actually give me something to like, think about. And it doesn't feel so empty, you know? And I think that's why I do what I do, because I don't want to I don't want to be sitting here just on my own doing a let's play. <coughs> yeah, I mean it's it's not it's not easy. I know that much. It's, I mean, it, every, if every game could do it, then it would be amazing. But it's quite difficult to do because you've got to find number one, you've got to find the right game to sit there and enjoy, and then number two, you've got to find a way of adding a story to it. You know, I'm still really picky about the like the games I play. Do your staff members have backstories? Um, not so much, but that could be elaborated on. Really could. I mean, I I could. I could bring that in a bit more. One more relay. Alright, oh, okay, ready. 
Really? I just I just thought I bought them all. Well, not at, at the moment. I mean, it's not so much because they're just characters, but I mean, if you want them to have a story, it's not difficult to like bridge in. I need a steering wheel. 400 quid for a steering wheel? Jesus. I mean, that's a bit rich, isn't it? Look, I could, we could probably find a nicer steering wheel. <coughs> yeah, I might have pushed, like, the button too many times. You know what? I'm going to buy a steering wheel too. Because it's half the fucking price. And it's nicer. We're going to need seats, but I don't know how many. Or whatever at the moment. We need tyres. So these. Sports tyres. And they're 2135. 2225. So we need. 21. Was it 235? Oh, I've, I've forgotten. 225 by 35. This is how bad my brain is by. by 25 and we need four of those now I don't need a rim oh they've got two different sizes oh, de really they shouldn't have why did I buy uh, with the sports tires from the old car and these are twenty. oh great okay so these tires, I've bought the wrong tires. That's cool. Cool, 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 and cool. So let's clear my let's clear my shopping list. So we need to buy one of those and one of those. Right. So race tire. Twenty two five five thirty-five. So we need two of these. Twenty two fifty-five by twenty-five. Was that right? Is that right? I'm so bad with bloody numbers. 255 by 35. 255 by 35. 255 by 35. 255 by 35. That's how bad my brain is. Like, I'll, I forget numbers that quickly. Right, so then this is the back wheels. Right, 22, 285 by 30. Jesus. Right. 22, 285, 30. 22... 285 by 30 and we need two of those there we go yeah I know. right that, that again right brain this is why when I when I make these videos I literally write down tires because I forget them that easy oh crap that's my kid all right give me a second guys I'm back in a sec
Hey, there we go. There's my microphone. It's back on now. <laughs> yeah, basically, um, I think they're like Ollie's developing in his head a bit more because he's having a rough night. Unfortunately, when they have a rough night, it uh, gets a bit funny, eh? But it's all good. He's he's settled again now, which is good. But I don't know how long for. So, worst comes to worst is that, well, worst comes to worst is he doesn't settle well enough, and I have to come off because if he's going to keep getting up, there's not much point in me being around. Basically, that's how it works. Do I have to bring my face all the way into this damn microphone? <laughs> God damn it! But he used to pick up there all the time. I might just have to turn this up a bit more. Give me a sec. What about that? Hey, is that better by any chance, guys? If it's better, then wow, that's so. Jeez. I never used to have this problem. Never. Five point two might be right. Cool, all the tires are done. Let's put the suspension back together now. After this, we've got to do the engine, which is going to blow a bit. Oh yeah! It's not very much there, like. Eh? Right. Let's put as much as we can back together now, and then we'll um, we're going faff with the engine next. Faff, we're doing enough. Faff, faff, we're doing enough. Faff, we're doing enough. Fat boy, slip it up. Da, 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 ba, ba, ba. Oh, I, I miss doing live streams with actual music. But the only way to do it, the only way to do, and this is the only way to do it, if you want to do live streams with actual music, you have to go and buy licenses from Epidemic Sounds. Right? And that basically just it gives you an entitled to like get as much music in your playlist as you want. And it could be official music but it's a license you're basically paying a music license so it's like broadcasting a proper radio show so the music that you'll be pay the music you actually pay for goes to the actual um record companies from through epidemic sounds so it just means they can't copyright your live streams but you still have to pay for it if i had the money yeah i'd, I'd probably do something like that so you guys actually be able to play listen to proper music <laughs> but it's it's expensive. That's my issue with it. It's like, yeah, it's just a little bit, it's just a little bit more money that I, w I wish to spend. That's why I opt to have like Harris Heller's like stream beats going. And like I said in my post on YouTube, I am not sponsored by it. I wish I was, because the money would be amazing and it would be a massive help. But you know, stream beats is an amazing service. It really is. And I like this lo-fi play. This is, so what you're listening to at the moment is lo-fi. And, and some of the tracks on it are a little bit dodgy. You know, I'm not a big fan of them. But I think this is overall like the playlist that I would definitely get to listen to on a lot of things. Because it's easy to listen to. It's chill. And I like it. That's all that.
that that's that the other if, if you want to do up i actually found with you know do you remember the honda civic i had that i found in an auction not so long ago um the one that got stolen in my in my previous video um that car is able to become i would say the fastest car in the game the downside is it's absolutely horrendously hard to um actually control <coughs> i gotta change the wheels so i've got to pay attention one of them is bigger than the other so that's the 20 inch okay so that's fine i can do that so this one's a 20 inch the two that are going on the back of the 22s that's fine that's what i needed to do But that engine is so hot. I mean, it's it's a V8 Tech 3, I think it was, or something stupid like that. And when I was messing around with it, it was so bad. How's the trade-up going? Um, this is our second full restoration. Uh, this is the Holden Effigy that we got from a scrapyard. But I'm hoping this is going to be like 100,000. I hope this is a 100,000 paycheck, because then we can be done. So this could be potentially the last card I work on for this whole trade-up. Robert Gray. Boom. Thank you very much for kicking by. And by the way, so yeah, Patrick, how you doing, dude? <laughs> but yeah, we're two hours and 35 into it. We've only got, we've got to put all this stuff back onto the car. We've got to go through the engine, which is going to need an entire strip down. But we can do that fairly quickly. I actually got the gist of doing it. Doing engines is quite is easy when you sort of, I need to do this, 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 this. And then when using that engine, when you're using the engine tree or the engine um, rack, it's so much easier. It really is. More people need to use the engine rack. If you're not already, use the engine rack, okay? <laughs> if not, you'll, you'll be sitting here like I did with the Volvo. I'm just like, oh, no, I'm spending too much time doing this. Right, so that's that side done. Oh no, we got springs. Spring. Yeah, man, that thing's really bloody expensive. Yeah. The, I saw it in the scrapyard, and like the starting price in, in the... You know you get like the salvage version, and you get the other version? The salvage version was 950000 I was like, whoa, I don't have enough money. But in all honesty, I know how to edit my pro my profile, so yeah, I, I, I could afford it. If I, I could do it now if you really <laughs> if if people wanted to learn how to edit their profiles, I could show you how to do it now. It, I've done it a couple of times now for that for the um the videos. I've edited my profile a couple of times to like sink in the, what's happening in the video. It's not difficult, but it's a lot of code to look at. I've made 57 million from them. <laughs> nice. Once you've got one, I think if you can afford the McLaren, you don't need money anymore. I think it's like, yeah, I'm rich now. I'm, I don't. I, I could just play this game and get a monkey to do it for me. Going good, so when I seen you on, had the idea up a few days ago, I decided to do the same. Started at 4K, went to the junkyard for a cup of car, uh, for a cars. Nice, man. So the way that I did it was I edited the profile up. So I bought, I gave myself all the stuff and all the tools you can get in the toolbox. Um, I unlocked everything and I started with 4K. And the first thing I did was start stripping car i started um i did a, i started uh, doing the stuff i've always done so change battery do the welds do the interior and sell them off and within what 12 minutes we had like 27 grand and it was just it was just easy after that i've done a full volvo and this is the second full restore that i'm doing so that should be everything and this car, by the way, right, that's how much profit I'm going to make on this car without the bodywork and the engine in it.
Doing right at the moment. One of these. Murr. It's <coughs> what we like to see. I think I'm a, I think enough people have complained about how much scrap they don't get. <laughs> it's just it's a headache. <laughs> I've got some. I've, I've got so much of this random weirdness. It's because I overbought all. I bought loads of stuff, didn't I? Let me just swap that back quick. We'll put all this back in because we can. That's not, that's not in here. I think I've bought basically what I've done. Is I've bought every. Oh, yeah, I did buy this. Yeah, what you saying, that boy? I think I know why I bought extra relays and stuff now because there's obviously two fuse boxes, which is the big thing about this car. It's like, yay, two fuse boxes. It's fun until somebody gets hurt. You can go on that. You can go on that. You can go there. Shit, he's up again. Back in a sec, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I I moved from I still play console, but I play fun games. You know, console for me is a way that I can just chill away from YouTube and everything else, mainly. Um I normally play things like MLB, Rocket League, I'm gonna be playing Diablo for a bit. This isn't jazz music. This is uh, it's what's known as lo-fi. Jazz, that's that's completely different, man. I can give you jazz if you want. think what we need to do is we need to fill up all the liquids first <laughs> but um yeah I, I used to i i play if you watch my 2018 guide on this game because I, I did i did the whole of 2018 on our console so when you watch any of my videos from back then the the way that i used to play this game it was purely on console so all my guides were done on there all the bits was and then when I shifted over to when I shifted over to this like for PC wise I had to start the whole game again oh, I am got a wall pumping okay and um, yeah I, I spent a long time leveling up again in this game oh he's awake again he's not having a good time Let's put this down. Get the engine. Mm 
yeah i get that feeling sometimes as well right so all of this stuff we've done got a steering wheel as well we've got to put the interior up well he as he's, he's just not having a good night tonight it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a shame yeah, so yeah, we had a really good day today, but it's just been. I think I think he him and his, and his brother are both due a growth spurt, which is, I mean, they're they're getting to that age, and it's about normal. So that's what I'm expecting. I just wish it wasn't tonight. Let's put it that way. Tonight has been one of those times. Back spring is missing. Is it? Oh uh, yeah, cheers, man. I would, I would, I would have picked it up at the end because I always do like a, I would go through the whole list normally at the end. Cheers. Right. Got bits for the engine. We've got the gearbox for this. Um, oh, I'm just going to set everything that's under 100%. There we go. We've got a radiator fan as well. I did find a, a if you if you wanted to get infinite experience for doing smeggle, like just take something off of a car and put it back on <laughs> over and over again. The game doesn't stop you doing it. It just keeps going. Right. I think it's engine time. Oh let's rotate this to the left like I always do. Start unbolting. Let's do this. Lever Jenkins. So I shouldn't do double order because everything else that is on this car is all is all 100 percent or more. Or it's just 100 percent It's just going through this engine now. It's just gonna be like, yeah, I get to take all this apart again. But this should be my like my six-figure car. definitely should be so i'm looking for other things to do in it like challenge wise or like other videos so if you guys have got any ideas like over in my um my community section hit up in the community like I, when i posted up about this game like i'm doing this tonight if you've got any suggestions there's that post chuck them on there and the reason why i say that is just because if your suggestion comes up and it's like hey, i could do that let me know i mean i've still got to do a 20 grand challenge like restore an entire car for 20 grand like buy the car first and then restore it which can be done but you have to be very select about which parts you're buying and where you're getting them from which is the more difficult part we're actually making a working car for 20 grand or less Head bobbing with the music, man. Just chill. Let's 
But have you guys been following the news between um, Twitch and YouTube and losing some of the main streamers to uh, YouTube? How do you think that's going to go for Twitch? Me personally, I think Twitch is going to fold in two years. Genuinely. And let's put it this way. I'm glad I'm... I, I won't get paid for a contract for saying this, but I'm exclusive to YouTube, by the way. <laughs> I dabbled in Twitch a little bit. I didn't like it. I'm, a, I'm an affiliate over there, and I didn't like it. Well, I am going for the sort of abandonment stream. <laughs> that's, that's not a bad comparison. <laughs> like an abandoned lost soul playing car mechanic simulator. Yeah. What makes you feel abandoned? The music. I'm like a flea market, man. Stink of desperation. <laughs> uh, it's all good, though. It's all good. Anyway, so yeah, that's... I'm I'm looking forward to uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how Twitch is going to react to this because honestly I the reason why I think they haven't been able to renew ta uh, Tim's contract and Doctor Lupo's contract I think it's got something I think it's got a lot to do with money. Um, me personally, the way that I saw it was that they could have given people like Asmund Gold a, um, a a streaming contract and they haven't. And Asmund Gold would have been cheaper. Other people, they stream on Twitch all the time and they're not getting contracts. And it's like, I, I, I have this really bad feeling that Twitch is literally like a, maybe two years away from just completely folding. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> They've done a, coal, a config for my old car, the Golf VR6. Oh, cool, man. Enjoy that one. Just just enjoy it. But yeah, that that's my that's my personal uh, that's my personal two cents on the whole like lo losing Tim the Tatman was a big thing. I mean, he was what the 15th last like, in between the 15th and the 11th highest streamer on Twitch, like bringing seven million like view, like subscribers to like Twitch constantly, the amount of watch time that man brought up was just ridiculous. And Twitch is just they just can't keep him on. And I I this is I I find it a little bit disturbing, but at the same time they sort of brought it upon themselves. I think for too long, too many people just going, hey, if you want to stream, you should go to Twitch. You should go to Twitch. You should go to Twitch. And the whole ecosystem over there is built around, like, if you're a streamer, then you interact with other streamers. You don't really interact with any other platform. And limiting people to a contract, as soon as you get into it, but if you don't, if you don't know, and you've never known, if you become an affiliate of Twitch, you don't get to stream to other platforms. You're not allowed to. And if you want to do something else for a different website, let's say upload videos to YouTube, why do you think Doctor like someone like Doctor Disrespect their their stream their stuff they would show on YouTube was always like two days old, and it's because Twitch has a clause that if as soon as you've done your stuff for like Twitch, you have to wait two days for anything for any material to leave your streams or vods and go onto another platform. They have to wait, and it's like I don't want to do that. And as soon as I got made an affiliate, I read through the contract and I just sat there and said, okay, I'll sign it. That's fine. And um, I didn't continue with them. I didn't, I didn't want, I didn't want to be on that platform because of it. And it was, it, it, in my head, it just didn't make sense. Like limiting streamers to one platform is so backwards. Like, if you were able, if I was able to stream to Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook all at the same time, right, and not have to, like, be limited, then I would probably choose to do it. But I know what Facebook is like, and I know the audience that's over there, because I watch some of them. It's all first-person crap. That's all, that's all it is. Like, Call of Duty streamers. That's Facebook. 
Twitch, you're you, you have to be a first person shooter. Whoa, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> That's how shocking it was to me. Finn Dominus joined the chat. What up, dude? But yeah, I'm um, I, I'm interested to see where YouTube now takes this because the guy that's the head of like Facebook gaming, uh, not Facebook, YouTube gaming. If you go onto his, I think his name is um, Ryan. Some it's Ryan something. I, I've got him actually on my Twitch, uh, not Twitch, Twitter. And it's he's he's like yeah we're doing this we're doing that, and he answers every single question that gets put up to him. The man is on fire basically. I've never been on Twitch. Um, it's it's basically like YouTube just only for streamers, but there's a lot of problems with Twitch. It's like discoverability and all the other stuff they do over there. And the, at the moment you've got the like the homophobic trolls and the troll like lynchings that are going around at the moment. Um. Then you've got like the hot tub streamers, which basically you know what that's for. Then you've got all this other crap with people getting thrown away and shit. And it's like, oh my god, it's not cool. I can call you XN. Boom! Welcome. And Finn, you're moving out in two weeks' time. Are you excited? Nervous? Because going to uni, I, 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 you know, we've spoken about this, but you know, it's a big move. Are you? How are you feeling about the move? How you doing, by the way, XN? Thank you very much for kicking my butt. But yeah, I, th I think with with Tim, Doctor Lupo, and a couple of others like now exclusive on YouTube, I think the platform can only go forwards. But it needs to make a few changes. YouTube gaming is okay; it's it's okay as a service. But I think the way that YouTube needs to now do this is with the homepage, you need live streaming and then like the standard stuff, so you can choose which one you want to look at then you'll be able, I think you'll be better off then because you can then choose what you want to watch instead of just be recommended I mean hey you want to watch this cool we want to watch that too there's a there's a few things I I, I sent them an essay like I kept getting messages from YouTube on Twitter uh, on Twitter Hey, would you give us feedback? Would you give us feedback? Would you give us feedback? And I got bored of it. And I said, well, you're quite persistent, aren't you? And they said, well, you know, doing this, 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 and this. I went, well, if you want to make this thing better, you need to do all of this. And they went, well, if you could if you could contact our, like, our feedback form, then that would be most appreciated. I went, I'm not just going to do that. I'm going to write you a freaking essay. And I, write them, I wrote them an essay on how they can upgrade their YouTube like platform uh, from, a, from a viewer point of view. Um, to make the platform better and more uh, and seeing a more way that they can do stuff from a different point of view and how they can get more people to watch they probably won't listen to me I'm only a channel of 6,000 subscribers they don't care oh gear ratios suck man <laughs> that's all I have to say it's <laughs> it, it differs. Oh, sorry. It differs per engine and gearbox and how else you're going to do stuff. And I, yeah, it's just annoying. And I, that's just my honest opinion on it all. Like doing the gearing and stuff. Most people who I've I've spoken to about the whole thing don't tend to mess. They just put it in there because it gives the extra. It gives the car the extra power, but they don't mess around with too much with the gears. I'm one of those people as well. Like messing with the gears is a headache for me personally because I suck at it and I've tried. Honestly, I have. But yeah, it's it, you have to sort of I think the way that it works is you have to just look at how, like the the mile an hourage on the where it's going to hit and then work out your gear ratios and bits bit is yeah, it's too much for me to like get into right now. Let's put it that way. I fried my brain the other day trying to like do up a car and I was just nope, ain't gonna work. I'm excited, just feel bad for the kids and stuff. Dude, she'll soon realise that you dealt with them quite a lot. I can't remember if I bought that. That's about my memories at the moment, right?
not a single YouTuber's made through gear changer. No, and there's a reason for that. It's I re I, I I look at it and I I get confused with gearing. I really do. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the only way. So I mean, I can't do it because I haven't got a custom car on me, really. And I'm doing this one up, but I would I would. Yeah, right. I, I don't know if you're still going to be here when I finish this car, or when I when I can get my challenge finished. Because this is the sort of thing that I know people want to see, but I, at the same time, I don't really fully understand it myself, and I like to understand things before I try to explain them to other people. I can explain them in layman's terms or idiot like myself, so that would be okay, I suppose. <coughs> On the SM58 mic since I was there. Oh, you need the XLR cable. Fair enough. What you can do is XLR to um, USB. What's the fast way to level up? Honestly, I've done a video for that as well. Basically, you need to earn a lot more experience. So you need to spend a lot more time examining cars. So at the start, you need to do story missions. The story missions get you through a little bit faster, which is good. They give you the experience. Um, but if you can examine every single part of a car, uh, like the DB reader, the multimeter, tire gauge, all that stuff, it will give you XP per thing that find they find wrong with it, and then from there, I mean, you you just upgrade the game as you go, and then you earn more experience per car. Oh, okay. See, that's why I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't have bought an XLR. And the reason why I wouldn't have bought it is because that's why I bought this mic because this is a USB mic, but it's a good USB mic. It's the reason why I bought it. It's it's because this is, it's good. Because it's not a stand. I know the reason, a reason, loads of reasons why people buy pod mics is because they think they're the better ones. If people did their research into a microphone instead of just going down the same route that everybody else does, you'd use something like this. And there's a reason for it. Oh no, dude! Hey, it's cool, man. Yeah, half the things that I do on this channel, I repeat myself a lot of the time, so I'm used to it. It's a bit like I know. This is. I think I get why I, I get Nick Nimmin now, right? And the reason why he's happy to repeat himself is because the person he's repeating himself to has never heard it before. I get it. Hey, bud, I've been watching you. You ever since Diesel said to check out your videos? Ah, oh, Jason Carter. Boom. Thank you very much, man. Um. Is that? For, I'm going to assume that was from Car Mechanic Simulator, not from Hydroneer. He's given me. Two, I, I'm. So, I, I actually feel honoured. He's actually given me two shout outs. One of them was for the Hydroneer stuff I did, um, and then one of them was for this game as well. It's like, okay, cool. I'm. I'm that resource channel now. I'm all right. <laughs> I do post in the Discord, so I'm. I'm always in. I'm in there as well a lot of some of the time. Because he gets a lot of people in there who ask questions as well. And it's like, you know what, I'll just help out. It's cool. And then I'm probably that annoying person. Yeah, well, okay. I'm probably that. I'm probably the annoying person as well. That when I sit in his I sit in his live stream and I talk to him on there. And I'm also the guy who, like, every question someone else is... Like, someone else, like, asks a question. And before he's read it, because there's, like, a delay on there, I've already replied to it. And... I think I'm that annoying as well. <laughs> I think it's just because when it comes to because I do a lot of um, I do a lot of modding for Nick, and I think this is a, uh, for like Nick, and I do for, I, I mod for Daryl and uh, Daniel Patel as well. And I think it's because I'm used to answering questions. I, the streamer needs to get on with what they're doing as a job. You know, their job is to entertain you, not to keep 
going on and on and on and on and on. That is their entertainment. So for me, if someone asks a question and if I know the answer, I'll just I'll I'll type it up and it's all good. I think I'm that person. <laughs> but it's good. It just means that the the streamer can get on with what they're doing. The problem is if if somebody's one of my mods and then they're like, oh yeah, so hybrid still, blah, blah, blah. It's like, they probably don't really know. Yeah. But, thank you very much for watching. It means a lot. It's most appreciated. And when, when I say that, I mean, it's, I type it out every every single day when someone says, oh, thanks for this. It's like, yeah, it's most appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Like, I sincerely mean that and I type it out every time. I'm not using, like, quick responses. So anybody who says it, thank you it's it means it means a massive amount to me because it just means i'm on that right sort of thing sound salvage container is it useful yes if you want to make a three-star car and you want to make the most powerful car that you can create using well you need you need salvage yes but early game not so much i would say that the salvage is good if you're looking to make a project car that's three stars that you're never really going to sell, then yes. If you're just going to play the game and enjoy it and not have to go through the arduous process of scrapping shed tons of stuff at the moment, because according to Talisa, um, in version 1.08 or whatever they're up to now, um, they're going to be changing the amount of scrap we get from salvaging, which is good. And I will gladly make a video about that because I'm excited about that. I don't have to sit here for two to three friggin' hours pushing the stupid button over and over again just to get a couple of bits of scrap. And I'll be happy about that. I really will. It just means like doing a three star car would just be so much easier. Back in my day, we didn't have that. We just had to do it ourselves and just not worry about it, you know? I'm alright then. Don't worry, I'm not salty at all it's like not a lot of people are going to really go through the hell that some of us have already <laughs> oh. <clears throat> feels like that like something's stuck in my throat <clears> choice <throat> do 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 Anyways, so yeah, that's, um, yeah, I would say Salvage Yard is good, but I would get it after you've bought, like, the garage extension and a few other things that you actually do need in the game. I would say it's okay. Right, let's, uh, take the engine off and let's go and mount it in the Holden. And then we can put all the bodywork on, because this thing's like a massive shell. I'm pretty sure I've done it. Yeah, it's done. And we're good. Move equipment, put that back. Stick this up, and then we're gonna put the gear. We're gonna put the gearbox back on the drive shaft. Thanks, man. You are amazing. I'm from Dubai, and nice to see you. Boom! Thank you very much. One KS, well, HKS, sorry, one HKS. Welcome, and um, thank you very much for the compliment. It's most appreciated. You know. Stick this back on. Do you have a no? No, no, I haven't. No, right. Okay, so. No, no, so for me, like, do you remember last week when I streamed, like, three days straight? Right. So I did Friday, Saturday, and I did a stream on Sunday, and I just kept going. And I woke up on Monday, and I felt okay. I was, I, I didn't feel unwell, but my voice gone. Like, completely, it just, it just died. So for a that's why if you watch my, if you watch, the, the latest videos from me, they're, I'm a little bit horsey. And um, because of that, like, when I talk for... A little longer now it sort of dries the back of my throat out and then i get like stuff stuck which car is this, this is the holden no no just this just hasn't got a body on it that's the body for it it just doesn't exist because it's a mod car <laughs> it's just it just sucks at the moment let's put it um so yeah i need to buy all the bodywork for the holden where's the fuck oh it's not yeah it, and this is because it's a mod car. And I need to go in here. So there's the Holden. This is the Holden. This is everything I'm buying for this car. See, this car is fucking expensive. All right. <coughs> it's not cheap. <coughs> and now I can't. <coughs> yeah. That's better. Got it. 
Right. From bumper. I'm going to take this one. If I take the normal left door, then we'll just keep everything to the left. It really would. I, I completely agree on that one. I'm going to go with the B hood on that one. But this car is so expensive. I don't have enough money. See, I've I've basically knocked my entire finances out of this out of this buying all of this stuff for this car. This body is worth twenty grand. This is why this car is so goddamn expensive. I've literally rinsed my entire bank account buying this car. It's expensive. Do not do this car if you don't have the bankroll. Because it sucks. I ain't even got enough money to put that on. Right. I don't have the window screen, so we need to buy a windshield. I remember which part I need to do to put that on. Boom. There you go. Right, so now we got all of this crud. So I've got all these spare bits now. Alright. And it just basically means that this, 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 and this gets my money back. Because <laughs> now I can buy the rest of this car. So I need a windshield. Because that's two and a half poxy grand for a windshield. And then I need license plates. And thankfully, the license plates are only $100 each, which is good. And I'm just going to buy those ones. From Georgia. Yeah, from Georgia with love. There we go. Cool. All right, so we'll pop that back in. And then we'll pop this on. And then we'll go around the back. Oh, yeah. Oh. Normal mode, because apparently it doesn't have a rear. But I would say that's complete. So let's go into the puzzle section and just see what we got. Yep, everything is done. Everything. And then the car is worth 136 grand. Oh, baby. There we go. Boom shanker is all I have to say. So there we go. We just upped. We just went from. And people said, oh, you should give yourself a bit more money. Because you never know. You might, know, you might need it. I won't fucking need it. It's all good. Right. So V. Boom. 100%. $138,000 in three hours. Three hours. That's two car, two full restorations and a little prattin' around at the middle. And we're all good. So we've just done 138 grand in three hours. 134. Not too shabby. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the salon. And we're going to see if we can buy a car for 138 grand. And then that's, the, that's it. Challenge completed. Three hours. That's why I said that would happen. I'm gonna. I want this. I want it. How much? Oh shit! That's two hundred forty-seven grand. How much? Two hundred forty-five. Shit. All right. Ah. Uh, hundred fifty-six. Oh fudge. We ain't got enough money for free. Oh poo. Right. Back off. Let's let's return and we'll come back. We got. Challenge isn't over until we buy a car. Not over until we buy a car. All right. It's not over until the fat the man is singing. And that'd be me when I'm singing like something. Just go for it, you know you want to. Here we go. Um we might not be able to afford this. 254. Let's make it. 162. Getting closer to my budget. 
Meg. Come on, dude. Oh. Technology, the, the challenge hasn't finished yet because I'm visiting the junkyard for the first time. I love the junkyard. Look in every single pile. Every single junk pile. Look in it. You identify yourself as fat yet? Yeah, because I am. Dude, I'm, 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 I'm fat. I'm five foot eight and I weigh 18 stone. I'm fat. 141. We could buy a van, I think. Maybe. We can buy. I don't want to buy a van. I'm pissing vans. Seriously. I got to buy a car. Something that's over 100 grand. When you're when you're five foot eight, which is like average height for my age, like yeah, being being eighteen stone sucks, especially when you have asthma, and it's like okay, I've, I've got to do something about this. Oh, we might be able to buy the golf, maybe. Can we buy a Tesla? I I can't I can I can't afford a Tesla. I don't want to buy. The, okay, we need to trade up. We need to go a bit more. We need to. We need to get a bit more money. So, Jesus, right? Okay. We need like twenty grand, and the only way I know I can get twenty grand is by going to a, the poxy auction, buying a car, and then selling it like straight off the bat. <laughs> Three hours and fifteen minutes. Yeah. It, this is the problem with being this is the problem with being me, mate. Is it's just I know it's bad for me. It's just not good. Not good. I think we need to go for the skyline. I'm hoping it's in good condition. Oh no, someone put a shitty decal on it. It's worth forty five. We might be able to flip it out for fifty. Guess a bit of money. It's done 47,000 miles though. This isn't a good car. Jeez. What's the engine power for? Wow, that's a big engine. This looks like it needs a little bit of bodywork. And a lot of bit of inside work. Let's go with this. This is a five star car. What is wrong with it? Perfectly modified in every way. It's just a bit scantily done. You know what? This won't be too hard to flip. I got an idea, don't worry. <laughs> By the way, if anybody ever wants to buy me a car, one of these, please. How did you get that challenger? Ch challenger? What challenger? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What challenger? Where am I seeing a challenger? I've got a charger. What's that? Where's the challenger? Do you mean this? Now i got to wait. It's a mod, yeah. Basically, you have to go and um, you have to run the PC version. Sorry, dude. Don't forget if you are enjoying this channel or anything on here or whatever I've done over here, hit that like button. Smacking that like button, it's like treating a whore to a dirty bath. It's good for her. Whilst hitting the like button is good for me. <laughs> Yeah, so you need to add it as a mod. It's um, PC. 
the joys. Okay, interior 79%, frame 83, guarantee. All right, let's have a look at the battery. Right, so I'm taking the battery out. I'm, I'm literally just doing a quick fix on this, like very, very quick. This should raise the, our value of this car exponentially. And know that I'm only changing, I'm only cleaning it and charging the battery. Ah, oh, cheers, man! Boom. That that's that's so kind of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so basically, the way to do this is you would, um, you're on PC, you go to the Steam Workshop, click on the game, and you go up to, it says Workshop on the top right hand corner. You click on that, and you go into the mod section, and it's like, it's all in front of you. It's, I love it, and the reason why, and the, the mod section for this game, and I've said this a couple of times, is the reason why I changed for the PC version for this game. And it's mainly because of this, like, over time, the mod section becomes so unupdated with cars that, You'll have like, I don't know, I think the last count, I think in the last game alone was what, 600 added new cars from various different people. It was just like, oh my god, this is amazing. Um, yeah, I, I that, that's the reason why I went to PC for Car Mechanics Similar. I would say this, but apart from Gold Rush, this is one of the reasons why I moved over. I, I, I love Gold Rush. There you go, there's another 8 grand. And all we did was change the battery, we charged the battery, did the welding, done. Charlie, what's up, dude? We've got 146 grand now. Let's see if we can go and buy a over a 100k car, obviously within my budget. If it's still 158 grand, I'm, I'm going to need to do that a couple more times. Oh, yeah. It's 117, that'll put us into the win. That's a brand spanking new car. It's all green, buddy. It's all green. Done. Three hours and 21 minutes with interruptions. And it doesn't leave me with a lot of money, but there you go. Three hours and 21. And we went from 4K to a $100,000 vehicle. I would say that was a successful shout, if you ask me. That was bloody good. I enjoyed that, actually. It was, it was just quite nice to just to chill it. <laughs> If I sell it, I lose 20 grand. Oh, if I click on this. This car doesn't have this. No, I figured. It's just a bit weird. It's like... It's weird having a car that I don't have to do anything to. There you go, that's my 100k car. Two items worth buying. Um, also, anything with uh, a star rating on it. Basically. Play. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Hold on. <coughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna go into high I'm gonna go into help mode. Hold on. Right. So whilst you're in the junkyard, and it doesn't have to be anything, you just sell it, change it, and change it. Okay. Why is it? Uh, what I want to know is why it, why it loses a lot of money. But everything's in. I I got overcharged for the car. Basically, there we go. 
Also, my daughter sends love and prayers to your wife. Oh, thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. Yeah, I mean, she's... Yeah, she's back in today because um, her NJ tube came back up. So she's got to have it, another one fitted so she can have her feed back again. Which is the joys of life. I can't remember her next, her next chemo is. I think it's next week. Right, so I want to show... So if you're in the junkyard... And I'm doing this just specifically to show you this. So, Loco Chopper, by the way, pay attention. You say there are only two things in the scrapyard that are worth buying. There's actually a few more that you need to pick up and have a look around for. One of them is a map. And you need you need a map to go to a barn. When you go to a barn, it's all good. He asked about dealer's cut. It sucks. Screw the dealer. Number two... What you want to be doing is you want to look for your scrap parts, but you want to be picking up. Like, look, there you go. There's a, there's a nice part there. Uh, let's just see if we can find one in here. Face lift. Nope, nothing in there. Next pile. So in order for you to buy all the parts nearby, it costs you about twenty grand. So you want to buy parts like this, right, with the one star above it. And the reason why you want the one star is because when you go to scrap it, you'll earn more scrap or salvage from that part just the way it is so when you're running when you're rummaging through things see that one you'll get I think this one here if you land on standard you'll get like two pieces of salvage instead if you buy this one which has got two stars on it you'll get three pieces if you just land on salvage so I'll show you these now all right so Return to part. It doesn't really bother me that I'm. I'll, I'll miss stuff. I just need to. I want to show. <coughs> if there's anything anyone wants to know about this game as well, by the way, hit uh, just hit in chat. Be happy. So you come over into Le Salvage Barn. So as you can see, like success is two, three, and four. So I always aim for the green one because you at least get double. And as you can see on this one, this is like a two-star part. You'll get three, four, and five. So that's where that comes from. So that's where the part, that's where the stars come from. That's why doing stars is awesome. You know, that sort of thing. Now, because I'm basically finished with the challenge, I need to show you guys... Um, I'm going to go back to my main garage. Main garage level 34 at 482 grand because I went on a buying spree. <coughs> and people, this is where people are gonna hate me. You're really gonna hate me. And I mean, like, stupidly, you're gonna hate me for this. If you look in the top right hand corner, how much salvage have I got? <laughs> By the way. This is a mod. To have this engine in this car is just so damn cool. So that's going to be fun. But yeah, it's... Um, so, yeah, that, that's where I'm up to. This is Rusty Nuts Garage. So if you guys have if you guys have seen that video, you'll recognise these cars. These are the guys I, I bought this off of a, a dude who was at a party. So I bought this car in this car. And the reason why I buy them is because I want to... I, one of the video I'm going to do for both of these, I'm going to restore both of these at basically the same time, but I'm going to be skipping quite a lot because it's a lot to do. Um, but because they're like engines, like they're pretty much the same thing. They're both superchargers. And it's a OHV supercharge and an OHV, a two carb OHV supercharge. Because they're both the same, I'm going to look around um, the, yeah, that's the one I got robbed. So, because they're both the same, I'm going to be trying to set, like, I'm going to be, the story's going to go around, like, them being a pair, because the engines are pretty much the same thing. Ah, uh, cheers, man. And then, uh, this is my butte. And this is the other one I need to restore at some point as well for a video. And then we've got the parking lot stuff. So we got we bought a car. This this Impala is going to be, I did, I buying this car. Actually, I saw one of these today, and I was like, oh, I want this car now. I I love I love the idea of having an Impala, and it's cheaper. Like buying an Impala is three grand in this country, 
buying a Bel Air is still 15,000. It's like, nah, it's all right. It's all good. So yeah, um, that's going to be a video at some point. Those two just sit outside because I like these cars. And these two will probably be like joined into a pair of, for a story. Basically, I'm going to try and sell. Like, I'll be selling both of these to one customer to, you know, because of the like VIN numbers on the engines or something stupid like that. It'll be, it'll be, I'll, I'll try and tie it in as best as I can to make it more believable, let's put it that way. But yeah, I mean, th this is a low rider as well. If, if you look where the wheel is, it sits low in the arch. So I like that idea. But that, the, the, this is the best part about the the best part about having the mods in this game. Oh, I've still got that on there. Is that when you're when you're getting these cars, it's it's the variation that people are putting into this thing now, and I'm liking the difference in customizations. I'm liking the basically just the overall like ability to be able to have like way more like variation. <laughs> still trying to find another Honda Civic because I, I screwed up on that one that's why if, if you want the reason to know why I got robbed was because I ballsed up on a video and I was like right okay I need to get rid of this and if I got rid of everything else then I could probably sell it off as a I got robbed thing and this this could be this is going to be ridiculous this is the McLaren F1 and just to buy into this car you need 277 grand the estimated finished value is 800,000. All right, Charlie, not a problem, dude. Peace out, man. Have a good one. And um, if you're racing, keep safe, man. But yeah, it, just to own a McLaren in this game is a ridiculous amount of money. Like, I know Diesel's just done one. Um, I could just edit my save and I could buy one now. So do you guys want to learn how to use how to mess around with the save? Or is that should that should that be a a video? Cuz I could show you now. Easy. <coughs> it's a, it's what to go older though. To get into it it's a pain in the ass. And then finding the right bit of code was a nightmare. Cuz no one showed me how to do it. So I was literally reading like a profile I'd finished and a starter profile. I was trying to find all the abnormalities and differences in the in the actual code, and it's there's a lot of writing, it really is. But yeah, so this is rusty nuts, and then you've got the flip one. You want to see, right? Okay, cool. So let me just save my game, and then drop out. That I need to change my chat screen. Eight hundred k, nice. Right. So let me just change display capture. And then we need to do the other screen. The two, yeah, that's number two. There we go. There we go, all sorted, so it's in here, cool. Right. Let me just go into my chat screen. And right, how you doing, guys? <laughs> right, so that, that, and that. Local low. Right, and nearly there. Red dot. And save. Right, okie doke. So, I'll put this down here. And by the way, this is going to get very, very white. <coughs> Warning you now. It's really white. Right, so. You go through all your little directories. So you go to your local disk, your user, and most people know that my name is Mike. Okay? So then you go update your local low, red dot, game, car mechanics, and you go into your save. You'll be presented with your profile number. Profile zero for me is hybrid. Um, profile two is fix it, and the other one is my test one. So when you go into here, you you have all of these numbers and all of this crap, all right? And it it's a lot of stuff to focus on. But what you need is right at the bottom. So if you go Control F, that brings up this, and hit Player Money, and this is always at the bottom. 
it's the last couple of lines you're interested in. So where it says player money, you've got 482,000. That's how much money I've got in my player right now. In order to change that save that I had when I was doing the let's play, and I, I had to pay for the electrician and everything else to do the security for the lot, yeah, I took $300,000 off my own money just to make it look like it was real, okay? So I had to do that. Um, then you've got the player experience, the player scrap, so I can actually change the amount of scrap that you can put into your own player, so you can change this. So you would type in, on here, you would type in player scrap, and then you'd have, like well, player scraps. If you don't type the exact thing, it doesn't like you. So you have to type in player money or player scrap. And then when you want to unlock stuff, uh, I've got to find the I've got to find the layer because it's just so, there's so much stuff here. It's a load of um, it just says lots and lots of false. I'm trying to find rows of true and rows of false. There we go. These bits here. So on here where it says uh, fast part mover, fast mount fast movement these are obviously your skills that you're putting into the game so when you upgrade your skill fast movement fast mount and everything else you're seeing this bit here where it says element and then you're editing this bit here that says it most people if you're if you haven't got to a certain level it says false 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 you change that to true 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 on the first element and the first element is fast movement your second element which is fast mount is the next one along and all of these things you've got to do like are oh, true 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 or false 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 it's it's just all about changing the right code to do everything else but yeah that's that's literally what you're looking for you're looking for player money player scraps player this uh this is this is the um code for car mechanic simulated character and stuff so this bit here player money player level player scraps and then you need to find this bit here. So when it says job type and it's player false, false, true, 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 true. If you turn it all to true, then you'll get um, different bits and pieces open up. So, yeah, it's, it logs the files. But yeah, that's all it is. Can you change the amount of points you get when you... Un no, you can't do that. That's all. That's inbuilt. Yeah, I haven't been able to, uh, there's there's so much text in this to go through it's ridiculous so there may be a way but I don't think you can but if you want to go through it all go for it all it's all good me personally I wouldn't prescribe it because that's just the way I would do things I would I personally wouldn't alter things like that but it's <laughs> Um, yeah, backing up your save is better. So you can copy the save onto your dashboard so you can just mess around. But that's how, I, that's how I'm able to manipulate the stuff for the videos I do. Because when it comes to, like, to make it... Uh, I know it's a game. And I know it's just me playing a game and fudging around and messing about. But to give it that little bit of realism where I'm actually losing money doing stuff in the game. Like, you know, paying for a, a security firm to do the, the lot. If I take 300 grand out of my own money, then it looks more believable. It, it's the immersiveness of a story instead of just doing the same crap that everybody As I said, it's just, instead of doing the same crap that everybody else is. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to change things up a bit. So I sat there for, I sat there for about an hour or so just reading through different parts of coding. Um, like all just the player save, and it was like, okay, what's different here than like my big profile, and that's why I was editing around. I was just like, okay, so this must be this, and this must be that. And then when you start, I'm not very good with logic systems, but when you start thinking of everything with a true and a false, and that will change the properties of something in the game, then everything that's false, if you change it to true, something else is going to open up for you. That's that was my mentality of changing like the player movement to like five to true. And it, it mainly just comes down to like doing that thing that we just did where I was going from 4000 to a saloon $100,000 car. I had, I, had to alter my I had to alter my save so I had loads and loads of money so I could buy all the tool stuff. And then I realized I could just change it all to true and be happy. 
but then I, I was and I had to change my money back to 4k and know where I was going for like how much it was going to take me but yeah so that that's what that was all for that's why I, that's why I learned it it was mainly just to do the videos I do <coughs> dedication that's that's what it was So, guys, I want to say thank you for... I know it's going to sound gushy and horrible. But thank you very much for everything. Thank you very much for watching my videos over the last month. You you are helping actively. Like, and I said this at the beginning of the stream, but right now, where we are, no one probably knows, basically the money that was raised this, this month on this channel, and I'm being completely 100% transparent because I feel that I, I'm honest to you guys. You get a gist of where I'm coming from. Um, the money that was raised from my channel this month is literally going towards buying a brand new carpet for my kids room um, It's going towards buying two new beds for my boys because that all they've ever had is like secondhand crap Now I'm actually gonna get them new ones um, Then my uh, my wife is buying uh, We're getting uh, we're getting two new mattress for them and we're getting um a chest of drawers for them that's brand new because they've never had new stuff so yeah they're, they're literally all the money that i've earned this month is going towards that i don't i might as said i mean banhammer gave us 20 quid which is so appreciated he goes just buy yourself a chinese but that's where that money's going i i like i said to people i don't keep the money a lot of the money i earn from this literally just goes into either paying bills or food drink and everything else around the house we don't i don't get a lot and it all goes towards my kids mainly i mean the next one will just be like more stuff for them i don't really need much else i mean that's my computer breaks and i need a new computer but yeah it, it's um oh no they are uh, we i'm literally buying them single beds they are they, they their beds will last them for 10 years now because they'll be actual proper beds they don't i haven't uh, we've never had kids we never had kids beds we we tried them they were so small um so yeah, we're we're literally buying two single beds for the boys, new mattresses, new everything. So they, they will last basically. But yeah, so I I write I write all my expenses down in a book as well. So at some point, if if I have to go, um, I don't have a main job. I'm a full time carer for my wife. Um, I'm at home twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, looking after her. That's it. That's all I do. <laughs> So, this is my uh, technically. I mean, this is my full-time job, even though I don't get paid a full-time wage. Nice man, nice. No, no. I said, we we tried those. We tried those toddler beds. Like we, when when Logan was like little, and we tried to go from a cot to a junior bed, and we bought one from a. It was a charity shop. We bought. It was only like twenty quid. And I looked at it and just went, that's not going to last him too long. And it was tiny. And then he had he had this massive room. And it was this tiny little bed in the corner. It was like, man, I feel sorry for this. So as soon as he was able to like get out of bed properly and sort of scoot himself off and stuff, he was like, I'm just going to get him a bed. Um, and mother, my mother-in-law had a spare because she was like changing out a room and stuff. He was like, we'll take it. So that's the bed that's still in there now. Um, and then we did the same for Ollie. He, he went from cot to a junior bed. And then he went, he's in a, a full-time bed as well. And he's nearly three. And he's now, like, full-size bed. Full, uh, but it's all, as I said, it's all second-hand stuff that it was there available. But now, I, but thanks to you guys, it's, you know, it helps out so much more. So I, I just want to be, I just want to be 100% transparent of where money goes. And the reason why is because you then understand that it all goes somewhere instead of just being pissed up a wall. Or, hey, check out, I just bought this brand new phone, and hey, it's a, a, it's a Huawei, right? It's, it's 120 quid. And the reason why is because I can't afford a new phone. But it's, I, I prefer to be transparent with people because then you understand me. And you see where it all goes. Well, you won't see it because I'm not going to take a photo of my kid's room and show you. Because that's just my kid's room. And it's a shit hole. <laughs> it's got drawings all up the wall where they scribbled all over it. Um... But at least then you know where it goes. 
you know i've got to save up for christmas now so that's that this is like my main expenditure for the whole year is like their room but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this it's been awesome to have you here thank you very much for everything you've done thank you very much for kicking by thank you very much for kicking and um yeah i'm, I'm just glad you guys have enjoyed my my videos and my channel enough so thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you for uh, i'll say it on their behalf thank you very much for the for what i'm doing for them to get their beds and stuff so thank you it, it, it's amazing so until my next video live stream or whatever else i do on this channel peace out have fun enjoy everything you guys do i'll see you all later bye bye for now